there are no plans of resignation. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. The latest news from around the world. We are Radio VR in Washington. It's The Onion Radio News. General Motors reports record sales of its new disposable car. This is Doyle Redland reporting. General Motors has announced a 56% increase in earnings this year, attributing much of it to February's wildly successful launch of the GMC Whim, the first-ever non-refillable disposable automobile. Debuting at a cost of $1,100 each, the vehicles are flying out of showrooms as quickly as dealers can stock them. Whim enthusiast Glenn Shriver. I recently consumed four vehicles driving from my home to Daytona Beach for the first annual Wim Owners Convention. I've already collected all eight colors. Rival automakers are preparing to counter with their own lines of disposable cars, including the Ford Temporaire and the Chrysler Dumper. The 2002 Mitsubishi Ditch will be unveiled later this year with a projected sticker price of $799. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you'd like. Toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Of course, you can join us online. We've got Skype. You can Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. Jump right into a special guest here in moments, but I want to welcome our newest affiliate, 600 WCHT, the Talk of the Bay in Escanaba, Gladstone, Michigan. So welcome aboard. They're taking the Saturday night show here on Free Talk Live. And welcome. If, yeah, and if you're new to uh, the program, then you're going to be listening to something a little bit different. Uh, <laughs> something you've never heard before. <laughs> Free Talk Live is not one of those uh, typical talk radio programs where it's like conservative or liberal talking points the entire show. This is an open phones panel discussion where we talk about freedom and would love to have you comment on whatever it is you think is important in the world. Nothing I get more tired of than Democrats calling Republicans dumb and Republicans calling Democrats dumb. For sure. So we're going to start things out tonight with a special guest on the line. And it's it's actually a rare thing that we do guests on Free Talk Live because, again, it's, a, it's kind of an open phones show. Anyone can call in about anything. But throughout the last week, there's definitely been a, a, a focused topic as far as most of the callers wanted to talk about this. And that is the, uh, the Bundy Ranch situation, which for those who maybe are not aware. Mark, can you summarize this so-called range war that's uh, been happening? Well, apparently Nevada? there's a dispute over, con- there's certainly a dispute over uh, control and ownership of uh, a large par- area of grazing land. Um, there's some confusion as to whether the protected desert tortoise is is a problem. Um, but as I understand it, the Bureau of Land Management has been killing these things off. There's so many of them, so it seems like a kind of a it seems like an excuse more than anything. But there's uh, the the Bundy folks have a claim to this land uh, going back, I think, to like the 1850s, and uh, the Bureau of Land Management, which didn't acquire the land till the 1980s, and that's a significant time difference here. Um, claims that they're since they aren't paying them uh, a lease rate that they're you know they need to go, but as I think that there might be some mineral rights thrown in here too. So oh, don't forget the militia people that are coming in with the guns. So it's it's very confusing. Yeah, and we actually have the son of Clive and Bundy, who is the rancher that is the focus of this case, and they've all been so busy with various media interviews. It's been a real frazzled week, from what I understand. Ryan, uh, who's actually a friend of the uh, the, the morning show host. KZNU, one of our affiliates in St. George. I read actually uh, Brian Hyde's article on the air last night uh, about what's been going on out there. Ryan, welcome to Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing today? Great. It's great to have you on the program. You are apparently out on the range right now on horseback. That's right. I am. Now, uh, th- there's a lot of questions that we can ask you, but first I want to start with current developments. Uh, our listeners know that throughout the week there have been protesters who've been showing up down there, and uh, of course your family had requested, I think wisely, that they not wear camo and tote around a bunch of guns. 
uh, so as to not incite some sort of situation with the police that could turn violent. And apparently that didn't really happen, although there was apparently one small scuffle. Apparently your brother was tased by the police at one point. So I'd like to get into some of those details. But there's the, the mainstream media tonight is reporting that the feds are backing down, that they're, uh, the, the cattle's going to be given back, that they've stolen from your family, and they're backing away, and it's all over. Is, that, uh, is, that media, is the media uh, reporting that accurately, Ryan? Well, to a small degree, but that was the latest news about four hours ago, and you are way behind the time. <laughs> all right. All right, what's happened now? I want to declare that the West has finally been won. Excellent. What happened? What does you that mean? The, you want the story? Okay. Yes. You're kind of quick and in and out of service, so I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you hear me? Yeah, fine. we're hearing you Actually, fine. you're coming in great there from horseback out in Nevada. So go for it. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, at about uh, 9 o'clock this morning, we had Sheriff the rest show up, and he wanted to speak with my dad, Clive and Bundy, in private. My dad said no. Let's go to the podium. So we went to the podium, and Sheriff Gillespie said the BLM has decided to withdraw and pull off. Right. The Bureau of Land Management. Everybody cheered. They thought, all right, what a good deal. But let me tell you, that meant nothing. Mm. It meant nothing because all they were doing was retreating. There was no surrender. There was no restoration of rights. There was no restoration of property. It meant nothing. So my father says no. And then he proceeded to tell the sheriff our demands. What he said was, Sheriff, I want you to go up there to that compound of the BOM, and I want you to disarm them. And I want you to bring the armaments down here underneath this flag on this podium in one hour. And then I want you to take your county bulldozers, and I want you to go down to the parks and bulldoze the buildings that charge people to come in and out to use their land and enjoy their recreation on the lakes. And I want those bulldozers moving in one hour. So he sent the sheriff off and said, people, let's wait one hour and see what he does. And then we'll make another decision. So during that hour, we had Patriot songs, and we enjoyed ourselves, and we reveled in uh, what little gain we had got. But one hour came and went, Mm -hmm. and no response. And 40 vehicles, SWAT team, set up above the hill. Yeah, that always makes somebody comfortable. A bunch of SWAT guys on the the ridge line. And so uh, my father said, now's the time to act. Let's go to the compound ourselves, and let's get our cattle and restore back to the people the rights that have been taken from them. Now, how many head of cattle so had been taken? we motorcaded up there, and we had a group of horses go there, and we met at the, the gates of their military compound, and we had a standoff. Wow. And our militiamen got into place, and the BLM got into place. And in some places, the county sheriffs started to get into the middle. We had basically two fronts of battle here, and in one front, the sheriff stood in the place. We had hundreds of people there. Many were just civilians. Hmm. Many had firearms, and then we had the militiamen there to protect the people. Now, I went up to negotiate, or not negotiate, and I went up there to demand the surrender of the BOM. And they surrendered. And what did that look like? our terms. And we went to the corral, and we received our cattle, and we're in the process of driving our cattle back home. Wow. And that's why I'm on horseback. So what about these buildings that you wanted bulldozed? That sounds like a a tall order. Well, it hasn't happened yet. Mm. But I'll tell you what. Those buildings are just new. They've been placed there to keep the people out of the land. They're the buildings to uh, force the people to pay entry into our own lands that we can enjoy, mm-hmm. and they have restricted the use of that land, and people are not able to go camping, and they're not able to go floating, and they're not able to go boating. This is along the east shore or the west shore of the Lake Mead, and they haven't been there that many years. And so to be free, they need to be gone. That's not a very tall order. So how many head of cattle had the feds uh, captured, had they kidnapped or Cow-napped or... Well, they, they claim that they were 400 head. 
Now, I didn't count them, but it looks like a pretty accurate amount. Wow. But those 400 head are now in our possession, and they're headed to the ranch. This is amazing. Now, obviously, the numbers had to have a big effect, right? Like, if you'd only had, you said there were hundreds of people on your side. Uh, if you'd Absolutely. only had a couple dozen, would that have changed how things uh, panned out, do you think? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. We could have never done it without them. I'll and tell you what. I'll tell you what happened here. We couldn't have done it without the people. We couldn't have done it without the horsemen. We couldn't have done it without the militia. We couldn't have done it without the county sheriff. And we couldn't have done it without our Father in Heaven. <laughs> the hand of providence was made evident today. Well, it's been an amazing. St- it's been an amazing story. A powerful government stand down. As uh, as your dad had pointed out, he's the last of something like 52 ranchers in the area. The Bureau of Land Management has systematically put every single one of these independent uh, farmers uh, out of business, and he's the last one standing. Ryan, can you stick he's with us for another standing. segment to uh, continue this discussion? This is fascinating. Sure. All right, stand sure. by. He's uh, he's out on horseback driving the cattle back as we're talking to him here. More coming up on Free Talk Live. Uh, if you've got a question for Ryan Bundy, he is the son of Clive and Bundy, one of the uh, heroic ranchers making a stand in Nevada peacefully, standing for their rights and freedoms and yours as well. 855-453 is the toll-free number. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart be glad you did. Amanda Bosold here from Midas Resources. Today, April 4th, 2014, gold opened at twelve ninety seven sixty. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for thirteen forty four seventy seven, six seventy two thirty eight for a half ounce, or three thirty six nineteen for a quarter ounce. Again, that's thirteen forty four seventy seven, six seventy two thirty eight, and three thirty six nineteen. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet, with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, and you're invited to take control of the airwaves. Dial on in toll-free at 855 Free. And especially if you have a question for Ryan Bundy, uh, he is on horseback right now, said he was having a little bit of trouble hearing us at one point. I don't know if that's cleared up. If it if it has, that may make it difficult to ask him a question with somebody else on the line. But we're going give to give it a try. We'll see how it goes. For those of you who uh, are just tuning in, the Bundy family has been involved in this so-called range war uh, out in Nevada that has resulted that it's from the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, threatening this family over using land that their family's been using for generations to, uh, to have their cattle graze. And we'll continue with that. They've um, they've just gotten their cattle back. There was kind of a standoff uh, that happened at the Bureau of Land Management there in Nevada, and they managed to, uh, to to apparently succeed and drive these federal bureaucrats back to where they came from. Whether they're going to stay away over time is another question, but at this point, they have definitely retreated. We'll continue with Ryan Bundy here in moments. There's a treasure hunt going on at Mathgate.info. This treasure hunt has... Prizes that are money, real money. You can earn money, Bitcoin, in fact, by proving theorems at mathgate.info. So you can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. You learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So you can connect through mathgate.info through Tor and prove some theorems and find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for your Bitcoins out there. Go to mathgate.info today. Join the treasure hunt. That's it. Do some theorems. Get paid Bitcoin. Mathgate.info. All right. Let's go to the phones and to your calls and thoughts. We're going to bring Ryan back on here. Make sure he's still there. Uh, Ryan, are you with us? I am, and I can hear you a little better also. All right. Fantastic. We've got people who would like to talk to you uh, about your experience, and maybe they've got some questions. We're going to go to those folks. Uh, you're all right with taking calls, I presume, yes? Absolutely. All right, great. Let's start out with Brother John calling from Hibbing, Minnesota, listening to WNMT. Brother John, you're on with Ryan Bundy from Nevada. Yeah. What, what about this deal I heard about the Chinese wanting to drill for oil out there? I tell you, I'll tell you what I want to do here is uh, I, I'm going to pass your question on. There was a little bit of wind noise, uh, brother John. Thank you for the call tonight. Uh, so Ryan, and I'm going to probably just have to put him on hold. Well, you know what? I'll just have to pot him down while while the other person talks. Anyway, Ryan, the question was, uh, what about the the supposed allegations regarding oil that uh, that th- this is really all about some company getting oil out of the ground uh, from your 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 father's property and or the claim that. Uh, Harry Reid wants the property to build a solar uh, solar power generating sort of uh, equipment on or something like that. Well, you know, we hear all kinds of rumors. Uh, some may be true and some may be not. I cannot verify either one of those. Um, but, you know, hey, I don't know. So yeah, they seemed kind of like questionable. I don't know the truth of the, the matter. The sources seemed pretty questionable when, when we'd heard about it. Let me ask you this, though. This land that's in question, now, h- how much acreage are we talking about? This has got to be a big piece of land. Yes, it is. This is a dry desert, and it takes a lot of acreage to run one cow. Right. Um, you know, we, we figured that one cow can run year-round on about 100 acres. Wow. And so... 
anyway, there's there's about uh, 600,000 acres there in question. 600,000 acres. Now, as I understood it, um, what was so, so tell me the lineage of this acreage. What happened, because uh, I've heard this goes back to the 1850s. Sure, it does. Okay, tell sure me about that. Okay. Well, the, the Mormon pioneers moved into this country, and the first thing they do when they got here, and I guess they didn't have to be Mormons, but any pioneer that moved into this country, yep. um, the first thing they do is they uncouple their their team of oxen or their team of horses, and they lead them to water and they give them a drink. Yep. So they just made beneficial use of that that water. Next thing they do is uh, to uh, get to a drink of water. He need that animal needs a bite of food to eat. Yeah. Well, they didn't bring a haystack with them. <laughs> nope. Okay, so they turn that animal out and let it eat the feed that's there, the grass, which there's little of it. This is more of a browse country, so the brush. And uh, they take a mouthful of that brush, and they just put that piece of that brush to beneficial use. Okay, now that beneficial use created a right. Yep. Okay, now those, and, and those rights became long and established. All right, now as it was to begin with, uh, most everybody in town had a team of horses because that's what they transported with and that's what they uh, worked their land with. And so everybody had a little bit of range rights. But as time went on, fewer and fewer people had those uh, animals. And so those who stayed in the business of ranching, you know, gathered up those rights. They purchased them, inherited them, or what may you have you, but there was a transfer of ownership. And they, uh, uh, and, and, and our family was one of those. So we, we became a family that uh, ended up with owning all those range rights or grazing rights. Now those grazing rights, we never have claimed to own the land. Mm-hmm. But we claim the oh we own the feed that grows upon the land. Okay. Hear me with the wind. I got you. And isn't it true uh, that that your family has been since they've stopped paying the BLM fees? They've been upgrading the property. They've been or this this you know the range. They've been doing the one, the the improvements that the BLM was supposed to do, but they never did, right? So you know, like I said, I don't know if you can hear me. The yep. wind started blowing all of a sudden. We got you. But see, those range range uh, range rights existed long before the BLM ever existed. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, when the BLM came into existence, and when they made the Fair Grazing Act, they recognized those rights. Now, the BLM is the Bureau of Land Management. They are not the Bureau of Land Ownership. Okay, they are not the owners of the range rights. They recognize that these range rights uh, uh, existed, and they stated in their original purpose that it was their duty or their job to protect these rights. That was why the BLM was created, was to protect these (laughs) rights. Isn't that always the case? Okay, now, we paid them for their service a management fee. We never paid them. Hang on, I'm going to fall off the cliff here. I ain't careful. Careful now. <laughs> Turn my horse around a little bit. I got one hand in my one hand for my hat, holding it over the phone so the wind don't blow, and the other one holding the phone. So, um, wow. Yeah, I know. appreciate the effort you're putting into this interview. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> this is gripping. Anyway, I was letting my horse walk on his own. We we, we didn't want to go down the cliff. Okay, yeah. I went down the gully and back up. We're good. All right, I can let him go on his own again. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, so we never paid the BLM to graze. That was never what our payment was for. Our Mm -hmm. payment was for a management fee. Now, of the fee that we paid, only 12% of that went to the the BLM for management. Only 12%. The The other other 88% went to what we called here in Nevada an N5 board, and that board was in charge of um, getting the money back to the ranchers um, so that they can build range improvements. So now, just, know, to clear, just to clarify. Kind of like the federal government, right? Take it away from them and turn around and give it back to them. Right, so they right. take a cut off the program. top for their administrative fees. Um, yeah, wow. Anyway, we, uh, we said uh, we could see that they weren't protecting our range rights. They weren't uh, trying to help our management to be successful. They were trying to manage us out of business. It's what it sounds like, and I'm not surprised. Ryan, can you stick with us? We've got more people with questions for you. Sure. All right, more with Ryan Bundy. From the range in Nevada, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we can take your calls on Skype at username lrn.fm. More coming up. 
There are many things the human body can do very well, but maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more, more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance, please visit AlkaVision's brand new website at AlkaVision.com. Same great products, but now easier to use and more informative than ever before. To get your very own plasma pH drops for just $29.95, call 800-518-7615 or visit AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new AlkaVision.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm me. comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared of property. What am I being now. detained for? You'll be in turn. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Anyone can publish on the internet, but not everyone is publishing material suited for online reading. According to the Yahoo Style Guide, it cautions that internet content has a few seconds, three or less, to encourage people to read more, to take action, or navigate to another one of your pages. So make it easy for readers to pick and choose. Isn't that the way you poke around online? Use short words, short sentences, short paragraphs, bulleted lists, and short pages. Front load what you write, putting the most important information at the beginning of headlines and paragraphs and sentences. Same goes for your keywords. What someone would likely type into the search box on Yahoo or Google. For more tips on communicating better online or in a job interview or everyday life, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. <laughs> This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program, and we will return to our normal mode where you can call in about absolutely anything you want here in a little bit. We do have special guest Ryan Bundy on the line with us, uh, and actually, I wasn't expecting to have good news to announce, but there's great news in the Bundy so-called range war down in Nevada where uh, the feds have given up. They have given back the cattle. Four, over 400 head or about 400 head of cattle are now back in their possession, and they're actually riding it back 
uh, across the range to to home as we're speaking with Ryan Bundy. He's one of the sons of Clive and Bundy, who, if you've been paying attention to some of the, the news this week, they have been under siege by the Federal Government Bureau of Land Management over grazing rights and fees, and uh, they haven't been paying the fees since the early 1990s out of protest over the mismanagement of the Bureau of So-Called Land Management. We've got Ryan uh, still with us here. I'm going to bring him back on the line. Still live from horseback on the Nevada Range. Are you with us, Ryan? Oh, I am, yes. Great. I appreciate you sticking with us and being willing to take these calls. We've got folks with more questions for you, so we're going to jump right into them. We've got Michael first, listening in Virginia Beach to WNIS. Michael, you're on with Ryan Bundy. Uh, thank you very much. Ryan, can you hear me okay? I sure can. Yes, I can. Okay, uh, Ryan, uh, on April 9th, I spoke to uh, Clyde Lewis, and I offered to intervene on your behalf uh, uh, towards the American Center for Law and Justice. Would you accept intervention from lawyers from that organization? Well, I'm not going to say I'll deny I'm here on radio, but uh, we do have a specific legal route we want to take. And it does not include an appeal process and a begging and the so forth and bow the knee to the federal judge program. No, we're not interested in that type of help and that type of influence. We're here to have the governor of the state of Nevada and the county sheriff make a stand and say this is our land and uh, we're going to take it and we're no longer going to put up with the tyranny of the federal government. Now, that's what we did here today. And we probably realize that the battle's not necessarily over. The war's not necessarily over. But this battle was won. This battle was won. Michael, uh, or actually, I guess, Ryan, what's a good way for people who want to offer legal assistance, whether or not you end up accepting it is, a, is another question, but what's a good way for folks to reach out to the family uh, who might be able to assist? Go to the blog spot. Go and to the blog spot. What is that? Can you anyway, give that website? I am at Rally Point. I'd like to get off the phone now. So can, that I can uh, rally with these people. Real quick, before bit. you before you go, Ryan, can you give that blog spot address for our listeners so they can go? Yeah, it's uh, bundyranch.blogspot.com. That's bundyranch.blogspot.com for the latest and to contact them. Thank you, Michael, for your call. And Ryan, thanks for taking so much time out of your evening tonight. Enjoy your celebration and congratulations on congratulations. the success so far. All right, you have a good day. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate you being on Free Talk Live tonight. 855 450 free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. Uh, you can, of course, bring up anything that you want. And speaking of Pro XPN, it is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data. Right now, what you're doing online is probably being logged by your ISP. They're probably keeping those logs for up to five years. Every website you visit, every search term you enter, you want to stop that from happening. You can go right now to proxpn.com slash FTL and for free, download their software. There's Windows, Mac versions, there's a Linux, uh, there's a way to get it set up on Linux, it's a little bit different. There's uh, iOS and Android versions of ProXPN. These will protect your privacy online. And with the premium package at ProXPN, which is all of five bucks a month when you use our discount code FTL20 and order the annual plan, the premium package gives you unlimited bandwidth, your ability to choose the server around the world that you want. You can privately torrent. It's a great service and protects you as well as uh, protects your location online. Go and learn more at proxpn.com slash FTL. Get started with the software and use our discount code to get the premium package at a huge discount. 20% off of the price. FTL20 is the code you need. And proxpn.com slash FTL is the website. There's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. And ProXPN does not keep online logs of your, or any logs, of your online habits. So again, proxpn.com slash FTL. As we continue, we'll take your calls and thoughts about what's on your mind. David is listening in Fordyce, Arkansas to KQEW. Hey, David. Hello, how are you? Welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts tonight. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I had a comment for Mr. Bundy there. First of all, I wanted to tell him, his family, and all the people there uh, in Nevada, thank you for what they did. I yep. think it was the most patriotic thing that I've ever seen in my life. I also wanted to let him know that I was in the process of coming there myself, um, you know, just to lend support, do whatever I could. I'm, I don't speak for the organization, but I am a member of the Oath Keepers, and uh I felt like that we should, you know, try to rally around these people and stand behind them and what they were doing because what they did, in my opinion, was the right thing. Absolutely. I wish 
that more business owners would do the same thing. When the government comes to try to regulate you out of business, that you make a stand and you don't just bow down and kiss their ring or kiss their boot. And it do apparently your, worked this time, too. Well, yeah, if you can get support from people, which is what happened. Because as, as he said at the beginning of his call, you know, wasn't this about the numbers? Had it been 26 people instead of 260 people, it would have totally changed how this went. So it's thanks to people like you, David, who were going out or who had already gone out and who were there this weekend, these are the folks who who made this happen, and they made it happen peacefully without a single shot fired, which I think is the most uh, relevant portion of all of this. David, thanks for your call. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. 855-450-FREE. Dave is in Michigan uh, listening online, uh, on the phone lines, actually. David, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, thanks for taking my call, guys. Uh, awesome topic. I am so good. proud of you guys for shedding more light on this topic, and I wish I could be like the last caller, David, and say I was on my way there to uh, lend a hand. I'm legally blind, and uh, I'm telling you, I was chomping at the bit. These guys, the, the federal government is out of control. But I got to say, I wish uh, Ryan, he probably already knows this because Alex Jones has people there uh, uh, covering this story. Um, Alex Jones on Infowars.com on Friday at the end of his show, he uh, his people uncovered documents that Harry Reid is behind this whole thing from 2012. He has uh, in place uh, Chinese, some Chinese general that he made a deal with that they were going to allow them to put in some solar. Now, Dave, farm. have you actually seen the documents? No, I okay, so I, here's I here's what uh, Ryan had to Ryan. say to the allegations. Ryan said that he's heard uh, some stories, but they, that none of it was really seemed to be verifiable. The story we heard All last right. night was about this, and thanks, Dave, for your call tonight. The story we heard last night about the these claims about the Chinese um, business. It's also nefarious. We've got foreign communists. The the claim <laughs> that somebody read an excerpt from the Infowars piece, which claimed that the documents were on the BLM website, but they've been taken down. So essentially, it's an unprovable claim. At this point, because nobody actually has the documents. At least that's my understanding of the situation. I haven't dug deep into that, and apparently neither has Dave. So, you know, you got to be careful what you believe out there. Maybe this really was, you know, rather than there being uh, a nefarious plot involving one politician, not to say that couldn't happen, but maybe it was just these are government bureaucrats. They want obedience, and they're willing to use force to get obedience. Apparently, but, they were. I mean, they 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 put snipers on the ridge. Yeah, line, they right? did, and they brought in multiple vehicles and cowboy hired cow cowboys to come in and round up these uh, cattle and move 400 head of cattle into BLM property and essentially confiscated these folks' cattle, which they just got back today. They were riding them back as we were speaking. So, really, this to me seems to be a very simple uh, situation. Government bureaucrats like to tell you what to do. They like to extract money from you. And as long as you keep going along with what they tell you and they're keep gonna, paying, they're going to keep coming up with new rules for you to follow and new fees for you to pay. That's what they and do. This uh, this family and Cliven and his sons uh, and, and family, they stood firm on this. And people that, that strength of standing firm for what they believed in attracted people who wanted to help them do this. And those people are the linchpin of why the Bundys have been successful, at, at least backing the feds down for now. And I think Ryan is right to you know be cautious and how he tr talks about this victory because all they might be doing is waiting until the media trucks go away and waiting until the supporters go home to make another move. Yeah. So, you know, these are a vi this is a violent gang of criminals and, you know, just because they're backing down on this issue at this time doesn't mean they won't come back. 855-450-FREE. You can bring up what you want here on Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition. You can connect on Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. More Free Talk Live coming up in moments. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less
less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Talk Live. Are you saying there's something wrong with a gay couple adopting children? Absolutely. What is? What could possibly be wrong about that? Then the children are going to be raised by queers instead of by, uh, you know... You are homophobic, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> no. I think so. But anyway... What's wrong with them being raised by gay people? Because gay people are unfit to raise children. Oh, How dare I, you? I object a lot. I had a friend who was adopted by uh, gay parents, uh, and he grew up just fine with completely normal values, and sure. he's a very normal, functioning member of society. I've met plenty of gay people in my time who I thought would make fantastic parents and would be far better parents than many of the white trash parents that are out there raising kids today. Tom, do you know any gay people? Uh, I try not to, but... Yeah, well, that figures, and you're about done. Thanks for the call. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. Something we started that's new on Free Talk Live is the YouTube channel. Every night we're recording the full three-hour show, the webcam version of the show, recording that, uploading it to YouTube so you can watch later on if you like. Because if you're not able to, to listen live or to watch live, you'll now be able to do that over at youtube.freetalklive.com. And of course, archives that go back, audio archives that go back all the way to 2006 exist on our website at freetalklive.com. And they're free, unlike a lot of those talk show hosts that want to charge you for accessing their sites. You just go and enjoy at freetalklive.com. Uh, we continue taking your calls. Our toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN is 855-450-FREE. Or connect with us on Skype by sending a request, a contact request to username lrn.fm. It'll be approved, and then you can easily call us on Skype. Let's go back to the phones and the fun. Joe is in Kentucky. You're on Free Talk Live, listening online. Hey, Joe. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome. I had a couple questions. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to start a new business. All right. Uh, I know it sounds kind of idiotic in this in this economy, but uh, it's either make money for myself or or 
drown. Well, it's either yeah. that or you make some money for somebody else. You might as well make money for yourself. And and there's plenty of businesses that'll be fine in a down economy. I mean, you know, well, people always I'm, need what certain things. I'm trying things. to go into is I'm going to try to do a used appliances. Everybody's, you know, trying to save a dollar, so I'm thinking sure. about used appliances. And I didn't know if, you know, maybe if there was somebody out there that could call in and maybe give me a hint or a help or if you guys had any I'm just I'm a new listener. I just discovered you guys about a week ago. All right. <laughs> and I've been listening pretty faithfully since. Well welcome. So what is it you're looking for help with? Just some ideas on how to get started selling used appliances or what's Well what I, well this is my like okay, I have a couple questions here actually while I was sitting there. All how right. much should I spend on advertisement staying the first year? This is Mark Edge is an advertising executive. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is that every business is different, and frankly, I think that it, it differs regionally and, and a variety of things. There is no pat answer mm-hmm. to the question that you're asking. What you okay, need to do is the, I, there's not even a caution light in the city that I live in. Now, right. Granted, mm-hmm. twenty miles in every direction for me. There are small. I, I don't know what the size differential is between city, metropolis, blah blah blah. Uh, now, are you planning on running this miles from Louisville? Well, are you planning on running this out of your household, or do you have a shop, or what's your plan there? On the farm, and I'm planning. I'm planning to have no rent overhead. Exactly, so, that's, that's going to be helpful. Though. That's perfect. Um, and the the you know, when it comes to advertising expenses, the first thing you have to be concerned with is your sign. Figure out what the government bureaucrats the largest piece the largest sign you can put up that the government bureaucrats will let you put up and put that sign up because that way people can see it. Um, you want. You want to be able to, to let people – the sign's right there. They can turn right in, and they can buy you know, a, a refrigerator or whatever it is that they want to buy. So um, that'd be the first thing that I'd be concerned with as far as advertising goes is signage. Sign up as big as I can. Yep, and, and ask the bureaucrats how big that is. But if he's out in the woods, there may not be a whole lot of traffic. And, and then you try to get out to the main highway. Where I plan on putting my sign, you know, I, I live right on a lake. Mm-hmm. And and I'm majoring the, the the summer's coming up here, and I'm, I'm I'm looking to cater to these lake people, you know, service come to yep. their house and fix their refrigerator. They quit working while they were gone, mm-hmm. you know, and and sell them uh, small uh, window units to throw in their little things. But the problem with that is, and it's so cheap to run to Walmart and buy one of those, you know that. Well, right. You can install though. Um, what yeah. I would, the next thing I'd be looking at, especially in that circumstance, is door hangers. Um, you want to be able to put something on their door so that you're there in their mind before Walmart is. Um, well, so see, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking about cold calling. Just, just. I mean, actual phone calls. Just cold calling people, asking if their appliances were running good, and just telling my name. <laughs> it's your refrigerator running. Numbers. It's <laughs> you better go catch it. Um, no, that's great. I think that's a great yeah. idea, especially if you've got the gumption to do cold calls. I mean, because most well, people. I have no problem. I have no problem with that. Most at all. people would have a problem with it, so that might be a good way to you know come up with something that's going to be attractive for people and well, let well, them know that you do repair. My used appliances now to fix. I see them. I see appliances sitting. You know, under your carport at your house, I stop and I go, "Hey, man, what are you going to do with that?" Yeah, yep. And, now, go, and, and door, door knocking is another way to do this. Um, you, you can go to these people's doors when they show up at the lake. Hey, knock, knock. Hey, you know, whatever. I'm well, here to serve. Once you start getting clients, another important thing you can do is ask for referrals. I mean, that's going to be an important. That's probably going to be the most critical aspect ask, of building your business. Them to refer me to somebody else. Yeah. Hey, if you know some, do you know anybody else who who might have ask an issue with uh, with their appliances? Please. You you know, pass my number on to them or, or get, you know, help me get in touch with them. But uh, people giving referrals is going to be the best way for you to get long term customers. I'm, so, I'm sorry. My son was turning the radio up and I wanted to turn it down so I could hear you guys. Yeah. So getting referrals is the way to really. Yeah, kick that business off because if you can get a, a referral or two from every customer, it's going to keep bringing business through the door, and they're going. And when they tell their friends that you did a good job, that's going to make them more confident in using your services. Best of luck, Joe, with your uh, business. Yeah, Appreciate your the call. call tonight. Not that we're experts on starting appliance businesses, but if you want imp- opinions, we're the guys to call. We'll give you opinions. I, I love low cost <laughs> advertising where p- people put in sweat e- sweat equity. Yeah, folks, folks cold want, calls. Great folks idea. love to know who they're doing business with. If you give them that opportunity. They're definitely going to respond to it. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got Dorothy uh, on the line listening to WVFT in Tallahassee. Hey, Dorothy. Hi. Hey. 
What's on your mind tonight? Are you there? We're right here. Go ahead with your thoughts. Okay. Okay. Um, I was just calling about the Bundy family and all those wonderful people that went out to support them. Yeah. And um, it just reminds me of how the West was won and how the how the the settlers and the and the farmers and the ranchers. Um, they they help make America, and for our government to treat them like trash, like they've done in this case, is just is just shameful. And I'm so proud of all those people that stood up and fought. And I wish the the rest of America would do the same thing about Obamacare. It just shows the difference about these these people who are the backbone of America out west, and then what the rest of us do, and and don't fight for our rights. It's true. As long as you continue rolling over, they're going to keep abusing people. And uh, and I and I wish we saw this in more places. Whenever we whenever we get news of a business owner standing up for their rights, it's always something I love to cover on Free Talk Live because the that level of courage is so few and far between. As far as people, individuals, and, and uh, business operators in this country, they're just not willing to put anything on the line for their freedoms. And these guys had everything on the line, basically, and then they were willing to still make that stand. And I find that incredibly courageous. And I'm glad you were inspired by it, Dorothy. Anything else you want to share tonight? Well, I just hope everybody uh, will be inspired by this group and, and cause Americans to stand up for their rights and to fight our, our tyrannical government that we have uh, in charge right now and do what we need to do to uh, return uh, uh, individual freedoms back to the, to, the, to the public, American public. Dory, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate, uh, or Dorothy rather, thanks for your call tonight. Uh, 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. I don't know when the American public had personal freedom. Um, I think that it's uh, you know it's sort of this rhetoric to say we need to get back to it, mm. but I'm not sure when it existed. Um, it's it certainly hasn't existed in my lifetime, um, and it's certainly growing. I I always hesitate. I don't like to like it to be partisan. To to me, it's you know I'm, freedoms were disappearing under the Bush administration. Absolutely, the same as they're disappearing now. It's not just Obamacare. It's um, just the centralization of power. As far as I'm concerned, Obamacare is a mandate for a bunch of people who didn't want, uh, for whatever reason, may not have wanted to pay for uh, health insurance to now have to pay for health insurance. So that, that, that's not fury. Sounds like corporate freedom. welfare to me. Right. I wonder how the insurance companies like it now that everybody's mandata- mandated to buy health insurance. They love it. They get to raise rates. I mean, the, the rates are going up ridiculously from what we've heard. I hear that for some people it's um, lower and for some people it's higher. I imagine it's a lot better for people who couldn't uh, couldn't get coverage. For pre-existing conditions. Yeah, pre-existing conditions and stuff like that. All right, let's continue. Rick is also in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Rick. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome, uh, sir. I, I served 22 years in the United States Marine Corps. I've seen some things that a lot of people don't see that I serve for nothing that I serve so that the government can take your property, can take your belongings. Yep. Is, what is would you have done? <laughs> what would you have done, Rick, if you were still in the Marines and they sent you out there to take those cattle? Because some, somebody would, that worked for the government stood, did. I would have stood down. This whole, this, this complete presidency. This administration is power hungry. You don't think okay. this would have happened under the Bush administration? They've been threatened. Uh, they've been threatened no. for twenty years. No, no, no. This, this, this would not have happened. This administration is power hungry. This man wants a monarchy. This man wants people to bow down to him. <laughs> And he's got everybody. Hold, hold on, Rick. I'd like you to hang through the news because I firmly disagree. Of course, the idea that Obama's power hungry, but Bush, no. He was a small government guy. (laughs) We'll uh, come back with more here. You can take control of the airwaves. Bring up whatever's on your mind. On this live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live, the toll-free number 855-453. Hour 2 is next. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. 
Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-443-7087. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus guaranteed 100% risk-free. Call 1-800-443-7087. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keenan the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, April 12th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,319 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $420. Antiwar.com reports, The fighting over the Syrian border town of Bukamal seems far from over, as fierce clashes between Al-Qaeda in Iraq and its rival Al-Qaeda faction, Jabhat al-Nusra, continue into a second day, raising the overall death toll to 86. The Nusra fighters held the city to start with and were attacked by Al-Qaeda in Iraq, with the faction hoping to seize the oil-rich city as well as its border crossing into Iraq's Anbar province, which it also controls much of. The city changed hands twice according to rebel reports, as Al-Qaeda in Iraq reportedly took it early in the day and lost it back to Nusra when reinforcements arrived. Al-Qaeda in Iraq is said to have executed seven captured Nusra members on their way out. The Iraqi military, which still controls the border crossing, is said to have reinforced their own position along the border, but with Al-Qaeda in Iraq controlling virtually every major city along the highway between the border and Baghdad, it seems unlikely that when push comes to shove, the border patrol can seriously retain the crossing. Al-Qaeda in Iraq and Jabhat al-Nusra have been openly warring for months since Al-Qaeda's parent organization disavowed Al-Qaeda in Iraq as too brutal for their taste and endorsed Nusra as their official Syrian affiliate. Despite losing their improbateur, Al-Qaeda in Iraq has continued to control much more territory and seems to be the stronger of the two factions. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. The Guardian reports, a leak of the major findings of a landmark Senate inquiry into the CIA's post-9-11 torture of terrorism detainees led to intensified pressure on the White House and the CIA to release the inquiry speedily and with minimum redactions. The classified study prepared by the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence concluded that the CIA's interrogations, secret detentions, and outsourced torture sessions were brutal and far worse than the agency communicated to policymakers. In addition to misleading policymakers, the Senate report charges the CIA with leaking classified and inaccurate information to journalists in order to portray the program in a positive light. The committee found the CIA manipulated the media by coordinating the leak of classified information, which inaccurately portrays the effectiveness of the agency's enhanced interrogation techniques. Human rights groups cited the leaked conclusions to pressure the administration to fully declassify the Senate report's major aspects and to take responsibility for its release out of the CIA's hands. 
FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports Russian officials say they have received no response from the European Union after an appeal by President Vladimir Putin for emergency talks on natural gas supply to the continent. Putin has reassured Europe that Russia will do everything it can to keep natural gas flowing into the EU, even if Ukraine's own supplies get shut off for non-payment over their ever-mounting bill. However, Russia's ability to keep the gas coming isn't necessarily guaranteed, as the pipelines to Europe go through Ukraine, and officials concede there is a risk that if and when Ukraine stops getting gas from Russia, they might start siphoning it out of the EU-bound pipeline. Ukraine is courting the EU to sell gas to them, and while EU officials have promised some limited sales at a discount as aid to the new government, Ukraine's long history for not paying for gas is likely to make it hard to come up with an alternative supplier. The Obama administration has angrily condemned Russia for proposing that Ukraine pay for all future gas deliveries in advance, calling it coercion to ensure that they actually get paid. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Uh, thank you, Joe. I appreciate you <laughs> taking up this issue. Fair talk, a man ain't cooked crisp on the hellfire desert, and he ought to be left on his own. Well, right, Joe. Immigrants are desperate for a better way of life. We Get... need the strongest of these crude backward browns to keep us all alive. I see the ones that can swim the Rio Grande, too. Berto, you swum that border river to get here, ain't you? Joe, not all Mexicans came here by swimming the Rio Grande. No, 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 no. I got sympathy. I crossed Huron Lake in the barrel myself using hands as paddles. Lived off the carp. What jumped at me? Now, you swam that river, no, ain't you? No, Actually, I was born here. What you know about hard work? Ain't never swum no river. Many immigrants, they I say you ain't to never be... know the man till you seen his teeth. Show him your teeth. Too many teeth rotten out shows you're dishonest in the mind. You got strong man full teeth, Barto. I apologize. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We are launching into the second hour of the program, and you can take control of the airwaves toll free at 855. 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We invite you to our website where you can actually go to create the content there on the main page of freetalklive.com. All the news stories and items you see there on the front page, they were all submitted by listeners just like you. So when you find something online that you think is interesting that you want to share with us and our listeners, you just submit it over there at freetalklive.com. You do need a Reddit account. A lot of you probably already have those. If you don't, you can just go and sign up for one real quick. You connect it to your Free Talk Live account. It's a simple process. And once that's done, you'll be able to submit stories to our website, vote up what you like, vote down what you don't like. And ultimately, we'll look at that before the show, and we'll figure out what it is that our listeners think is the most interesting. So go get the stories in front of us. Yeah, it's great. It's a great way to get your ideas in front of us. So go to freetalklive.com and get interactive there. With you in the studio, it's Ian here. And Mark. Live Saturday edition of the show, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. We had a call who hung up during the news break. I had invited him to, a long break. to stick around. Uh, yeah, but he didn't even make it through half of it. But uh, anyway, he had made the statement in the last hour, and I thought it was worth re- really kind of digging into a little bit more. That the Bundy situation, and for those of you who don't know, the Bundy family is involved in this range war, as it's been called, with the Bureau of Land Management. The BLM stole their cattle. They just got the cattle back today after overwhelming them with numbers of peaceful protesters. Thanks, goodness. And standing up for their rights. It was an amazing interview we had with Ryan Bundy, one of the members of the family. I'll be, pl- I'll be placing that online as its own separate interview later on, probably tonight or tomorrow. So uh, look forward to that at freetalklive.com. 
But then in, in kind of the calls that came in afterwards of the people that were supportive of the Bundy family, there was this one guy at the very end of the hour who said that, well, this never would have happened under the Bush administration. This is Obama trying to consolidate power, and he is uh, he, he never uh, Bush never would have done this, and that Obama wants to be the monarch. I think that that's, yeah, that, that's what I got out of the call. And I think it's pretty ridiculous. And look, I agree with you. Obama is definitely a power-seeking individual. And, and I think he wants to consolidate power. And that much is certainly true. But he's just continuing what George W. Bush started in many cases. It's not like Obama went in there to shut down Guantanamo Bay like he promised that he was going to do. Uh, or end the, the war is, uh, the what was it, the war in uh, Afghanistan or something that he promised to end? Or was it Iraq? Iraq. E- either way, you know, there's still troops around uh, the middle, all over the place. So uh, Barack Obama, yes, I agree that he's not a good guy. But George W. Bush is just like Barack Obama. George, don't forget that George W. Bush said, if this were a dictatorship, it would be a heck of a lot easier as long as I'm the dictator. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that should give you a little bit of a peek inside that man's mind. But don't forget also that during George Bush's administration, he signed the Patriot Act. He uh, presided over the expansion of the department, the creation of the Department of Homeland Security, the TSA. George W. Bush brought us the TSA. Uh, renditions, torture. I mean, these are all George W. Bush's, you know, his origins, essentially. He built on the tyranny that Bill Clinton started, that George W. Bush Sr. was doing before that, and Ronald Reagan and Carter. I mean, they're all criminals. They're all men who want to control you, who want to live off of your productivity. They're all the same. Okay, sure, their age has changed a little bit. Their skin tone changes a little bit. But otherwise, it's always the same old, same old, just using your money to reward their friends and punish their enemies, going to war constantly, destroying freedom, you know, creating more regulations, all of these things. Government didn't get smaller under George W. Bush. And in point of fact, I remember campaign signs from the year 2000. I remember a big campaign sign on Main Street. No, not Main Street. It was Fruitville and uh, 301 in Sarasota, Florida that said smaller government. Or small government, George what, W. What Bush. What small government? George W. Bush. Yeah. And, yeah. and a lot of people believe that. Well, I mean, that's what the Republicans always run on. Yeah. But even It's a lie. The, the government grew 60% under Reagan. Now, certainly there was a Democratic Congress run by Tip O'Neill at that time, but Reagan had the veto power. Well, maybe his pen was out of ink or something, Mark. He just couldn't bring himself to, uh, to sign... The government grew under, under the complete Republican administration under Bush. That's right. From 2000 to 2006. But wait, Mark, didn't uh, one of their politicians say, Trent Lott or somebody, didn't he say Lott, that they yeah. cut, we've sliced the government to the bone. Right. We can't cut it back any further. Right. I thought it was too big under Clinton, but somehow they grew it under Bush and then Dramatically. at the same time sliced it to the bone. I mean, They grew it is, at a quicker clip than Bill Clinton this did. This is the crap we're supposed to believe. These people are two sides of the same big government coin. Absolutely. The reason that they have an income tax, the reason they have a property tax is because they believe that they own your labor. They believe they own your property. I mean, isn't it obvious? You Uh, have to pay monthly. Excuse me. You have to pay annually. In some places, it's biannually. Some places, it's quarterly in order to live on your land. What? I mean, that's just rent. Be serious. Up, that's all it is. What's the difference between property tax and rent? Don't pretend like you own land. And if you think you own your body and you own your li- the fruits of your labor, try to go out there and not file income tax. Try to open up a business and not get an occupational license from these people. Well, a lot of people don't file income tax. I, I don't. I can't possibly go along with cooperating with these terrorists and fund their violence against people. They may very people. well try to throw you in jail over they it. They may very well do that. In fact, it'd probably be prison uh, as well. Well, yeah. Your place with bars. Welcome to share your thoughts with us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So what do you do about it, though? Yeah, okay, Free Talk Live. You guys get on the air. You claim, you complain about you complain about everything. You're you not com- just complaining, Ian. You said you don't file income tax, and I don't either. We're not just complaining. Yeah, but that's not going to end the state, Mark. I mean, fi- not filing income tax is a good way to increase your personal finances somewhat. 
but it's not going to uh, and increase your personal satisfaction Freedom. with yourself. Look, I'm but happy it, to pay for all the services I use and and yeah. do pay for every single service I use. I don't use federal services. I don't want any of their services. Well, I go on the interstate, but I'm gas taxes go to pay on That's that. That's true. Um, and the state, in a lot of cases, takes care of it. And the state. government extracts stuff from a cell phone tax that I don't really have the option um, of paying but, one way or the other. But what are you going to do about it? I mean, come on. That's not going to stop the federal government. Even if even if a bunch of people stopped paying income tax, all they'd have to do is print more money out. I'd love to hear people's uh, opinions on what one can do in order to find more freedom. I don't think you can move somewhere. People always say, ah, you don't like the way it is uh, here? Move someplace else. Well, where do you want me to move? Somalia, Mark. You should move to Somalia. Uh, well, uh, why would I want to go to Somalia? Isn't that where am there's I, anarchy? Am I going to find... Isn't that what I, you want? I, I, the United States government and the UN, hand in hand, have destroyed every attempt that the, that the Somali people have had to, to set mm. up a, a government. Um, I don't know. Uh, no. That's not <laughs> well, a lot of Somali people are fine without having a government. They've got a tribal system called the Zir there, as I understand it, and it's worked fine for hundreds of years. Um, but you know, you're right that the feds and the UN have been forcing their version of a government on that place. So it's certainly, uh, I would say that place is, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for. It is, It has been challenged. <laughs> the oh, yeah. rule of uh, Somalia and the Somalian people well, is under challenge by the larger governments. It's part government and part stability. We've got both here in the United States, government and stability. But government and stability doesn't doesn't by any means go hand in hand. A government really is Look just... Look at Detroit. Yeah. Government's just the most successful gang in a given geographic area. That's what a government is. Um, now, in Somalia, you know, when they're flying drones over and sending in uh, the airborne and all that stuff, um, constantly doing things to destabilize the area, they don't have stability. And that's not any fun. But I don't know why you would pick Somalia as a place that I should go. Um, I'm, I would really like to know, what are the solutions? I, I would love to hear what people's solutions are to this, because I don't, I don't see them. Well, give out the toll-free number. 855-450-FREE. That's Free brought to you by ProXPN, yep. 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. What is your solution? Mine's a Free State Project. Uh, that's the best answer to me because you saw what happened with the Bundy situation. There were hundreds of people that came to their assistance, but they a lot of them had to travel a long ways, and uh, and I'm I'm grateful that those folks came out and that things ended the way they did thus far, and that's great. Uh, but we need to get a, a community of liberty-minded people together who are together all the time, who are together. They're living in the same area constantly, and that's what the Free State Project is doing. We're bringing liberty-loving activists all to the same place. You can go to freestateproject.org. You can learn more about it there. You can sign up. We've got over 15,000 people who've signed up thus far for the Free State Project and pledged to make the move, as Mark and I did, here to New Hampshire and get active to achieve liberty in our lifetime. Many are running for political office. There's civil disobedience, non-cooperation. I'm non-cooperating right now. They're charging me, the state police, with two misdemeanors for some paperwork violation. So there's a lot of activism going on here. Go to freestateproject.org to learn more about that. And we'll come back with more Free Talk Live with your calls in moments. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. 
According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mints, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, and, of course... OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live, and we're doing the live Saturday edition of the program here seven nights a week, 7 10 at night Eastern Time, on your local radio station, hopefully, but if not... You can always contact your local radio station and ask them real nice, like for some free talk live. And uh, we, you know, we talk a lot about bitcoins here on Free Talk Live because we're really excited about them. It's not just because somebody's paying us bitcoins to advertise; it's because we really are excited about bitcoins. We've been watching bits, bitcoins since uh, I, somebody said that we've talked about them in, in 2010, but we certainly were talking about them in 2011. Um, I think they're an incredible phenomenon that, that returns a great deal of power to the individual that gives you complete control over your money. It You're allowed to send and receive money with, uh, with no fees over the internet. Now, you negligible fees if you want to kind of speed up the process. At mm-hmm. some point or another, negligible fees will be involved. But if you're talking about sending money for pennies, you can send $10,000 for pennies on, That's true. On, with, with bitcoins. Well, I guess I should say $10,000 worth of bitcoins for penny for, for bitcoins worth of pennies. Uh, pennies yeah, worth of bitcoins. A very, very small fee. Versus, you know, all these other money transmitting systems, Western Union, wiring money, uh, I can't PayPal. imagine what sending ten grand would cost on Western Union. I can't imagine either. It's I a, know that sending fifty dollars cost me thirty dollars. Uh, it's them. a this legacy system that we have, this legacy yeah. banking system we have is entirely set up to bilk the um you know the poor and middle class out of money to give to wealthy 
people. Well, Bitcoins uh, are down a little bit. They're four hundred twenty-two dollars right now on BitcoinAverage.com. A couple of days, what yesterday wasn't it? They weren't they down in the three hundred? In the three hundreds, yeah. There's a little uh, dip so in their back. Quite up. a buying opportunity yesterday, but it's still a buying opportunity. Bitcoins could go as you know, the sky is the limit. In my uh, opinion, anything things. under a thousand is a, uh, is a deal right they now. They could go to zero, of course. So keep that in mind. Nothing, you know, it's nothing's guaranteed with Bitcoins, but the more they become used and the more they are being accepted by businesses as All they the are. Uh, Overstock.com, Tiger Direct, I mean, major businesses are coming on board and accepting Bitcoin. The more they're accepted by businesses, the more useful they're going to be to people. The more they're going to want them, the less likely it's ever going to go to zero. It's just going to keep going up. Hopefully, you can get your Bitcoins over at CashIntoCoins.com. It's easy. Yeah, but Cash Into Coins, by the way, has a big announcement coming up uh, here in the, the near future. But um, if you want to do a transaction under $40, there's no fee. Now, their fees are always quite low. Yes. And actually, you can give half the fee to charity if that's what you want to do. Because that's Amazing. what Cash Into Coins is all about um, cash into coins.com you just use a money order check or wire transfer to get them uh, money and they turn it into bitcoins i've done a great deal of business with them i recommend them highly cash into coins.com that's yeah. the way i recommend getting bitcoins i'm excited whatever their announcement's going to be I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty exciting so looking forward to that hopefully, i know the secret hopefully we won't be teased for too much longer 855 450 free is the toll free number let's go to the phones your calls and thoughts kyle's in detroit listening online at freetalklive.com hey kyle Welcome, Boy, I'm sir. glad you're there. <laughs> I've been waiting to call and uh, just been trying to time it right with, with both you and uh, Ian and, uh, and Marco there. Welcome. And, Go ahead. Uh, oh, man, I, I just heard you mention about the income tax, and uh, and I'm quite sure I will be seeing you in prison one day. We may be cellmates, but <laughs> because I, I, I do work uh, for myself when I can as independent, and I have been taking jobs. And I've been telling people this for quite some time, the easiest or the, I guess, I, I call it doing nothing. And people question me uh, how to get through this uh, government uh, uh, slavery by absolutely doing nothing. Just simply when you get a job, put on nine dependents. Put on and what? Nine, you know, nine when okay. you put in your exam. Isn't that uh, somehow, uh, see, this is what my concern would be is, is when you're filling out, what, is this the W-2? That you're talking about? Yep. Okay, so is that fraud? Yeah, I mean that's what my concern is: is that uh, filling out their paperwork. I wouldn't give people advice in this arena because I don't know. Um, so, where do these dependents come from? Are they imaginary dependents? Yeah, it's imaginary. Are you kidding me? I'm paying for everybody's welfare, uh, cell phones, and everything else. Let's not go there. <laughs> and I agree with you. I know someday the feds are going to come knocking, and if I'm going to, I'll have to make the decision on that day what I'm going to do. But, How long have you, you know, been doing it? Uh, for the last few years, and I stopped filing. I, my business income taxes, everything. I just completely stopped filing. Excellent. Because I believe it is a matter of just like this court thing with these tickets that uh, one I'm fighting right now, I won, and now I'm back in again, and blah, blah, blah. And we can talk about that another time. But I see that I'll never forget the statement that I got out of the prosecutor the first time when I said, when I challenged jurisdiction, and he said to me, you showed up. It's the same thing with this tax stuff. The minute you file or do anything and make yourself part of the Santa Claus exist system, you showed up. So I'm not showing up. I'm not filing anymore. Well, of course, not. that's not – I don't file either. Uh, I, you know, I'm not interested in that, although sometimes they, uh, there are businesses that we do business with that demand a W-9 form, so I will you know, begrudgingly – uh, fill one of those out, but it's not that I consent to being ruled. It's just that I want to get my check from the business that's well, trying to do business with us. Now we have a, a blanket organization that has an EIN, so we're fine with that. Yeah, well, that. But for a long time, I was f- filling out those W nine. That's and, correct. You know, those were those were being filed by the business, presumably with uh, with the state. So yeah, they could come after me too. But as far as I'm concerned, people just need to to live as free as they possibly can, and people need to stand up for what they believe in, and maybe their example will ex- inspire others. And uh, I just have no interest in paying a, a criminal gang. I don't want to pay for my neighbors and my friends and and you know people I don't know to be oppressed by the federal government. And I feel like if I am consenting, you know, if I am filling out their forms and I am cutting a check, or even if I'm getting a refund from them, I'm still supporting their operations, and I don't want to be a part of that. Exactly. Even Thoreau said to Emerson, you know, when he when they threw him in prison for not paying his income tax because he did not believe in slavery. It was a poll he tax. Said, I will not Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you're right. There was no income tax. And anyway, uh, and he, he was 
like, uh, hey, what, you know, Emer- uh, Emerson asked him, what are you doing in there? And he said, what are you doing out there? <laughs> the better and question I- is, what are you doing out there? And that really is it. What A question for you, uh, Kyle, since you're calling from Detroit, you don't file federal taxes. Is there an income tax in Detroit or in the state of Michigan? Well, the, I, I live outside the city of Detroit, mm-hmm. and I did actually live in it and work in it, and they rape us for another 3%. But if it's an income in, tax? Yeah. If you live in or work for the city of Detroit, they rape you again for another 3%. Does uh, Michigan, does the state of Michigan have an income tax, or is it one of the states that doesn't have one? Oh, yeah. It's a state tax, federal tax, you name it. So are you also so, not filing for Michigan, or are you filing for them? Nope. I'm not. I'm not I will not. I will not participate anymore in the Santa. I'm not doing it. Santa You're a hero, Rose. Kyle. You, I appreciate that, and thank you for your courage on that point. And I, I hope that maybe we'll see you, somebody like you, and maybe you in New Hampshire someday, because we need we need courageous people together in the same place. So check out the Free State Project if you love freedom. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's go to E J. Listening to W S V G in Virginia. Hello, E J. Hey, how you how you guys doing? Uh, Welcome. Speaking of um, speaking of courageous people, I would think um, if we could get some American citizens to um, come together and um, just kind of like not buy gas on um, tax day, um, April fifteenth, and we should do it every year until they lower gas. I think this might send a message. Um, I don't know how great it would become. Yeah. On a yearly thing, but I think you, I, what I you think need to do is you need to, to stop consumption, um, and not just uh, the day of, of buying. Because um, what my concern is is that oh well, I'll just get gas on the 14th or gas on the 16th, and you know then the oil companies get the same amount of revenue that they would normally get. I think people have to to pledge not to drive on a particular day. EJ, if you want to continue this discussion, we can bring it back because it's not the first time somebody has brought up this idea of don't buy X on day Y, and I'm not sure if it's really going to affect much of anything. There's more on the way. It's Free Talk Live. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the Total Transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now, 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss. A once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. 
DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. And you can bring up anything you want. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype in to username lrn.fm. Send a contact request to that user and we will approve you. It'll be easy for you to contact us on Skype from that point forward. You can join us online as well at freetalklive.com. Maybe you've got a smartphone. You'd like quick access to our live streams and podcast, and also now our cam, which you can access from your smartphone now, which you couldn't do back in 2013. So go to m, like mobile, dot freetalklive.com. That's m, as in mobile, dot freetalklive.com. We go back to your phone calls and thoughts. But first, uh, the gentleman who called about the gas boycott dropped off the line during the break. I just wanted to kind of dig in a little further to that one. This comes up every year. There's somebody that calls every year to advocate. It's either boycotting gas companies, that's the most common one, or like buy nothing day is the other one, where the idea is that, oh, if we don't buy things on this day, then that'll send a message to corporate America and they'll stop doing whatever. The things they do. Whatever it is they're doing that's uh, that's offensive. And it's just not very likely. I like your solution, Mark. First of all, buying nothing on one day is not going to do anything because you're going to eventually buy what you were going to buy on that day. And so it's not going to affect their profits or anything like that. Right. The bottom I mean, line, we buy toilet paper and, and paper towels in, in bulk at my house because and some canned foods and stuff because I like to have those things around in uh, you know, case weather gets bad or some situation like that. If I uh, got together with uh, all the people in the United States and we bought bulk our toilet paper and paper towels, all that's going to do is mess up the ordering for the, uh, you know, the, the warehouse stores or the grocery stores yeah. that you get this stuff from. It's not really going to, it's not going to change the amount of toilet paper you use unless you decide to switch to corn cobs or whatever, you know, one's going to switch to, you're going to still consume that same thing. Exactly. So I liked your suggestion, Mark, to reduce your consumption uh, and you've done this with your car that you drive. You've got an. Well, elect- I've reduced a lot of my footprint generally, um, but yeah. I meant on gasoline specifically. Yep. Uh, you, uh, you know, you are I now a- driving an electric slash gas hybrid. I've got which- a plug-in hybrid, and now I didn't do it for the same reasons that everybody, a lot of people, do it for. Um, I'm. But yeah, little- you don't believe you're going to save the environment. You just want to stop supporting the big oil. I'm. I'm skeptical that the um, amount of carbon that I'm chained, you know, not putting out is going to make any difference at all. Well, yeah, somebody's doing something to provide that power to your car, and it may not be good for the environment either. Right? May or may not. Yeah. What my concern is specifically 
specifically is oil that's brought in from the Middle East. I know they kill people over that stuff. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was decrease the amount of uh, uh, fossil fuel consumption that I had as much, if not more, than the amount that the United States uh, supplements its own um, you know, oil production from. So if the U.S. brings in, and I believe it's 40 percent of its oil from uh, foreign countries, then I wanted to cut by 40 percent my use of that same oil because I don't want to be reliant on foreign oil. And if other people do this, did the same thing, then they wouldn't be. But at the very least, I, I can drive my car in a little bit extra smug, right? right. One thing's for sure, uh, as you pointed out many times, if it requires everybody to sign on to be effective, that's, ain't gonna it's never going to work out. Uh, you know, at, at the same time you got this car, I got a car that is more gas guzzling than any of the other cars I've ever had. So yes. you know, somebody out there is buying more gas, so you're not going to put a dent in their profits. But you've almost don't drive. But you're not going to put a dent in their profits, but you've done something that personally feels good to you. And that's really all that people are doing with this buy nothing day or buy no gas day. It's just a feel good thing. And by all means, if it makes you feel good to buy no gas for one day, then jump on board. But don't think for a moment that it's going to affect anything long term as far as the gas price. But I think that being conscious of your budget and conscious of your consumption is the very best thing that this uh, this economic downturn brought to. It, mm-hmm. it brought to my house, and it seems like it brought to many other houses. Yeah. Uh, we Gotta used to consume careful. a great deal of uh, money sort of in out-of-home food dollar. Now we make almost all of our meals at home. That's a huge change. Uh, um, and, you know, we're, we're just not spending what we used to spend. And it's it's not really about what you make. It's about what you spend as far as savings goes. Let's go to the phones to you and your thoughts. We got Don listening in St. George, Utah, to KZNU. Hey, Don. Hey, how you doing? How well, you doing? Go for it. Uh, go for it, Don. What's on your mind tonight? Hey, hey. Uh, well, I I was really I'm sitting here watching a ball game and overhearing you guys talk about income taxes and and I've been at war with the IRS for about uh, going on ten years now. Oh wow! And uh, I've been uh, a non-filer and. Uh, I wanted to kind of relate an experience that I had. I, Please. After about nine years, uh, I, about a year ago, a revenue agent finally showed up at my door. And, Unan- uh, hold on. Unannounced, or did in. they send any kind of mail first? Oh, yeah. I've, I had lots of mail and lots mm-hmm. of return mail. Every time they sent me a letter, I would send a certified letter back. And, of course, they would never answer any questions. They would never answer my reasons for non-filing. And like, so what were the questions you were asking? That. Like, questions about what's my obligation to file, et cetera? Or what were you asking? Exactly. And w- what's the jurisdiction? I was asking, uh, you know, to answer a questionnaire that I send out to them that basically uh, quizzes them as to where am I in the in the code. And, uh, and of course, they would never answer those questions. And um, so let me tell you about this revenue agent. She shows up. She's out of Las Vegas. She shows up at my door. And I invite her in because I know, Mm. according to their handbook, revenue agents are supposed to come in and help the supposed taxpayer uh, understand their obligation as to the tax code and pay their taxes. And so I said, well, good, you're here. Let's go ahead and have a talk. (laughs) Great. I've been asking you guys questions for years. Thank goodness you're here. You've sent someone to answer my questions. Well, good. And so I sat her down. And I grabbed under my desk a stack that's probably about a foot tall and uh, of, of letters for the, just the past five years. Hmm. And I said, good, you can answer my questions here. And she said to me, I'm not here to answer any questions. I said, well, that's a, your obligation according to your, your uh, jurisdiction and what you can ask me. And she says, no, I'm here just to see what I'm going to take from you. And I said, oh, wow. that's good. So, so after I sat there and, and talked with her for a bit, I said, and trying to get her to answer my questions, she says, I'm not going to answer any of your questions. And, I said, and then she said, I'm going to answer your questions if you file for the past two years. So then I turned to her and I says, well, good. So in other words, you're going to extort me, force me to have to file before you answer my questions. And I said, that's not even according to the, the, the IRS code. And they say that they're supposed to teach the supposed taxpayers what their obligation is in a nice, friendly way. And uh, so I said, I guess you're not going to answer my questions, and you're extorting me. And she said, oh, we're done. And I said, okay, good. And I walked her out to her car, and I said to her, I said, are you going to um, take me to court, which I hope you do. And she says, no, I'm not going to take you to court. We only take high-profile pro- people to court. Hmm. And then she uh, turned around, and she says, I'm just going to lean you to death. 
Oh, so gosh. every year, probably around, oh, probably I'd say around uh, March or so, uh, she leans me for another year of taxes. Is and she, she leaning your house? I, well, oh, she's not leaning anything. Oh, I don't she... own anything in my name. And so I mean, she's leaving my soul. So uh, wow. I go to the tax assessor and I say, Hold on. So Did anybody have... say leaning a soul? I just want to know this. No. Okay. How do you? Because I, I would really love that. How do you place a lien yeah. on a human being? I didn't even know that was possible. That's exactly it. It's not possible because people don't understand this. According to the Fair Lien Act, that is federal law. Every lien has to be uh, proven. In other words, I can't just go down the street and lien a neighbor because I don't like him. Mm -hmm. I have to have some court case, you know, like a credit card that says you haven't paid this, da da da, and take him to court. Okay. Well, the IRS tries to fool everybody, including the county assessor, by giving them a form that says that this guy owes such and such amount of taxes and that we're leaning them. Well, there's supposed to be an attached court document that states that they had taken me to court and that there was a judgment filed against me, and that judgment is what they're leaning. Well, they don't do that. I, they don't, they've never taken me to court. I've asked them to take me to court. They refuse to take me to court. And so they, they sit there and do that. So I've gone to the county assessor and said, here's what I need you to do. You need to go to the IRS, and you are required by law to request a document from them that says that they've leaned me. Well, they refuse to do so. Of course they do. And Don, so, thank you for your call tonight, man. And keep us in the loop about your heroic stand against income taxes. I appreciate it. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. You can take control. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Uh, we travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition. Plenty of time for you and your calls and thoughts. And you know what? Coming up here tonight, uh, we're going to continue with your calls, obviously, as you make them. But if we get the chance, we'll tell you about the man released from prison after 24 years as an innocent man. 24 and a half. We'll you can come, round up to 25. We'll come back with that. or We'll get to that when we get a chance. Your calls come first. The toll-free number is 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. If you would like to help Free Talk Live, you like what we're doing here on the air, you can do that simply by going to shop.freetalklive.com. There's a link there to Amazon. Actually, there's three of them there's Amazon US, Amazon UK, and Amazon Canada. You click into the right one for you, and Free Talk Live will get a cut of your purchase price. It's a simple process. It only takes you an extra moment, and it makes a big difference for us. If you want to save yourself a little bit of time, you can always just go to shop.freetalklive.com, select the Amazon of your choice, and then bookmark the landing page. That way you can just go back to your bookmark the next time you want to go shopping and get stuff that you want. You're going to go and buy online anyway, so why not buy through Free Talk Live's link so Free Talk Live can get a cut that otherwise it'll well, it'll all go to Amazon. So we appreciate it when you do that at shop.freetalklive.com. As we go back to the phones and the fun, we go to Liberty Phoenix in Illinois, listening online to LRN.FM. Hey, Liberty Phoenix. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey. Um, Ian, it's a travesty on what they're trying to do to you about your IDs. That's a joke and ridiculousness. Uh, yeah, for, um, for listeners but, who uh, don't know, yesterday I was arrested on two misdemeanor Class A charges. I'm facing two years in jail because basically because I filed paperwork in the wrong order at the DMV. That's essentially what it boils down yeah. to. There's a lengthy description of what actually transpired on freekeen.com. So anybody that wants to know more about that, or you can listen to last night's Free Talk Live. But probably the most detailed description is up right now at freekeen.com. It includes court paperwork and things like that. So thank you for your thoughts, Liberty Phoenix. But what else was on your mind tonight? Well, I was really glad that you guys touched on the income tax. Um, as a lot of the listeners know that have been listening for as long as I've been calling in, um, I'm not paying my taxes either. I Excellent. I refuse to play along. For how long? And I, uh, this will be the second year that I've received that I haven't filed. Um, now, are you working for uh, for an employer, or are you taking you do you have your own business? I'm a, I'm a subcontractor, so okay. I do I do get a 1099 that's filed for me, but I don't really care. Got it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll so as time. a subcontractor, they're cutting you the full amount. They're not withholding anything. Correct. Okay. Correct. But they are reporting your full pay sure. to the IRS. Just like Amazon a, reports our money to the IRS as well. Yeah, so but, there's always reports oh, that are filed. Yeah, I mean, you know, the business, they aren't nearly as anarchistic as myself. So they will, of course, abide by the government's edicts. And as right. threats of force, because they are just still scared. They don't understand that they own themselves. Which, you know, everybody comes to liberty in their own time. I wish them. I wish they would come faster. But you know, such is the way. But I wanted to know. I am dreadfully unprepared for when they actually come after me because um, it's bound to happen. What's the first steps that I take to prepare myself, and and where where, where should I go to seek the knowledge? to actually defend myself properly. 
I mean, I know it's there. Brother, I have no idea. I know that uh, I know that uh, Larkin Rose went to prison because he didn't file uh, federal income taxes. Or when um, Schiff did the same thing. Or when Schiff was filing, he was filing some sort of zero return or something okay. like that. Well, um, but, Mark uh, Mark Stevens probably is the most qualified person to speak on this that I know of. Mm, that's a good point. Um, Mark so, Stevens, the author of Adventures in Legal Land. He's, that's a mark with a C, right? By the way. And he has had conversations with IRS investigators that. He's really been able to frustrate them. What that's end up turning into in the long run, I'm not real clear on that. I don't know what you know his success rate is with dealing with these people. Personally, if they're going to claim that I'm a you know that I owe them something, I would like to know what where the obligation comes from for me to pay income tax. And if they're going to claim that I'm a U.S. citizen and so therefore I'm obligated to pay income tax, I want to know how they can prove that I'm a U.S. citizen when the Supreme Court can uh you know rules over and over again that essentially the government has no obligation to protect you so therefore how could i possibly have any duty to be obedient to them uh, i don't believe in the idea of citizen and and so i'd like to know all those things but as our caller earlier pointed out you can ask the irs all the questions you want they're not going to answer it they're just going to keep moving forward with their process and that process will likely involve court at some point which will likely involve a jury at some point, and then you get the Herculean task of attempting to convince a jury, or at least one person on that jury, that you shouldn't be put in a prison cell because you withheld taxes, which will be a very hard thing to do because they're going to recruit the most patriotic, brainwashed, uh, you know, myrmidons they possibly can to sit on that jury. Well, that's where that's where I get a little bit of uh, a boost of confidence. Being in Illinois, there is you know there's precedent for uh, not filing. It was the case. Of um, I believe his name was uh, what? Uh, of course, now I cannot remember it off the top of my head. But it was in um, Aaron Russo's from Freedom to Fascism, and he beat them in court because mm-hmm. but one juror decided, hey, this guy's right. They're not providing him the law that says that they have to file, so well, there's no law. And then one of the other guys, one of the other jurors, was quoted as saying, "You mean we don't have to pay?" So, I mean, there's precedent in Illinois for not filing, and basically, it was basically jury nullification that happened. Um, so, I mean, there's precedent in Illinois, but personally, I, you know, I'm completely illiterate of what their rules are. I mean, frankly, I don't care, but I should care because they're going to use those rules to, to throw them back at me. Um, but so Mark Stevens would be the main person. He's the one that does the No State Project. Is that correct? That's right, yes. And he also wrote Adventures in Legal Land. But, you know, Mark doesn't ever claim that his approach is going to guarantee anything. Uh, in fact, it could just upset them even more. Uh, it just depends. But I, I like Mark, and he's a he's an honest guy who will put his ideas out there. He's without, had some success, too. Without putting them behind a paywall. And, and really, if he can get them to just leave you alone, then that would be the ideal thing. Uh, so you don't even have to go to court. He doesn't represent anybody in court. He's not an attorney. But he can help try to nail him down with tough questions uh, in in advance uh, during the investigatory process, as I understand it, and he's usually available for hire to uh, to help with that kind of thing. But look, you know, the fact is, if you can't convince that jury, they're going to convict you, and then you'll probably go to a minimum security prison for for some time in federal custody. I mean, that's that's the reality behind not paying taxes. I mean, Wesley Snipes was there for I think three years as a result of that. Yeah. Didn't they just take Lauren Hill? Lauren Hill's been blo- locked up now. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, so, you know, it, it can be scary for people, I think, and, and right, rightfully so. But the more people that stand up, the more it inspires others to do the same. And, and I think I, it's just so important. And I, I thank you worth, for doing that. I think it's worth pointing out here that the uh, federal government's the only organization in the United States that can put you into prison for owing it money in, in its mind. Mm-hmm. And they've got a, and any, any organization that has to force you to do uh, business with it. Well, that's a pretty bad business plan. I mean, it shows it shows the idea, the business plan, the behind your business is flawed. If you've got to force people to do business with you, then your idea stinks. Phoenix, anything else you want to share tonight? Yeah, sure that's about it. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, guys. thanks for the call week. tonight. Appreciate hearing from you at eight fifty five four fifty free. You got to remember, you can be as researched as you want. I mean, you can p- pour over these tomes of information, the law books and all this legalese, and you can know it. And Larkin Rose knew that stuff. He knows it. But it, I don't think it matters in a lot of cases when it comes to the jury. Remember our friends Benjamin uh, Bartholomew and his brother Russell, I think? Yeah, Russell, I, th- I uh, think. Yeah, they uh, they were 
attacked by the California government uh, when they were holding a, a sign, a taxes equals theft sign, on the side of the road. They charged them with a bunch of nonsense, and they went to uh, to trial. Well, they charged them for not showing an ID quickly enough, isn't that? I don't remember the details. Yeah, but- they had masks on, and there was a charge related to that, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, they went to court, and it was pretty clear that they should have won their case. Like, the government was totally in the wrong for stopping this, what was essentially free speech, holding a sign right. on an overpass. They proved they weren't blocking traffic. that they didn't violate any law. Exactly. But the jury found them guilty anyway. And then when asked why afterwards, the jury members who were willing to talk said essentially that they, yes, they understood that they hadn't violated the law, but they still should have done what the police had told them to do. Right. And this is the sort of sycophantry that, uh, we're, that, that we're inculcated with in the society. We're a free society, so you better do what the authorities say. It doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, did George Washington do what the authorities say? Now, um, the what the caller said there was that he was trying to get some questions answered. From and the they, IRS. Yeah, from the IRS. They wouldn't answer any questions. This is what the Founding Fathers, redress of grievances. That's what it was all about. Read the Declaration of Independence, audience. I know you haven't. Read it. It's, I mean, it's all about trying to get redress of grievances. I've got grievances with this organization that calls itself the federal government of the United States of America. And all the grievances are fine, and all the info is fine, and you can know the tax law back and forth, like the palm of your hand, but ultimately, you've got to convince the jurors, and the the jurors are going to have that slave-on-slave mentality, most of them, like, well, I pay taxes, and so should you. Doesn't matter what the law says and what you've said. So that's what you really have to get over. Good luck. Hour three's on the way. Free Talk Live. In 1952, Martha's parents drove her home in their brand spanking new coupe they just insured with a spiffy outfit called Geico. In 1967, Chad got a far out policy from Geico and saved himself some bodacious bread. In 1994, Natalie got the 411 from her homegirls on a fat with a PH insurance policy from Geico. Word to your mother. Over the past 75 years, the expressions have changed, but one thing hasn't. Saving money with Geico. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,322, silver opened at $20.06, and Bitcoin is trading at $427.78. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM, June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. Support also comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy, 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. 
Support also comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. In the news today, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius is resigning. Her resignation comes after she helped to oversee the disastrous rollout of both Obamacare itself and the accompanying website. Reuters reports Sebelius' departure removes a key target for critics as the president and his fellow Democrats try to retain control of the Senate in November midterm elections. A 30-year-old production assistant for TV's Tosh.0 is dead, shot to death by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The Los Angeles Times reports officers mistook John Winkler as a suspect in a stabbing. That came as Winkler went into a neighboring apartment in an attempt to help three occupants who were being held at night point. As he fled with one of the victims, shots were fired, leaving Winkler dead. The actual 27-year-old suspect was caught later. Beginning April 15th, Google will begin taking online orders for its controversial device, Google Glass. The glasses allow users to interact with their environment and will be sold around $1,500. While wearing the gadget, viewers will receive publicly available information. Critics of the tool believe it violates the privacy of individuals who may not want their details released publicly. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering pro-pure water filtration the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, bravenewbookstore.com. Support also comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online, massappeallink.com. And support comes from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat. For Friday, April 11, 2014, check out the website, thelibertybeat.com. Lieutenant Ben Coleman of the Chief of Naval Operations Rapid Innovation Cell has hinted at the possibility of 3D printers aboard naval ships. Speaking at Sea Air Space 2014, the lieutenant discussed the Army's use of 3D printers in combat and what it will take to put a printer into action while at sea. Navy officials imagine a future where 3D printed organs could be created on Navy ships. A recently released statement from indigenous communities in southern Mexico condemns the destruction of communal land and attacks by the government that have stemmed from the construction of new wind farms. The communities state that the projects are expected to produce between 5,000 and 10,000 megawatts in wind energy, but will only benefit international corporations such as Walmart and Heineken. Dubious honors this week for the Department of Justice and the White House Press Office. Both are the top recipients of the annual Jefferson Muzzle Award, presented by the Thomas Jefferson Center for the Protection of Free Expression. The organization explains the award is a means to draw national attention to abridgments of free speech and press, and at the same time, foster an appreciation for those tenets of the First Amendment. The award has been handed out every year since 1992. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time, and sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials, online at affordablesound.com. Or you can call them, 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. I'd like to tell you about our newest innovations in helping to keep our communities safe. Problem Creation Policing. Problem Creation Policing, or PCP, it's a way to get the entire community involved in maintaining a safe neighborhood. This is more than just a neighborhood watch. We plan to have officers on the ground helping, aiding, and surveilling for illicit activities. You never know when you're going to find some young punk doing something illegal out in public. That's why we're going to have officers everywhere. You never know when they're going to pop up. So we want PCP in our homes at our jobs, and in our schools. We want PCP everywhere. How can you get involved in PCP? Well, for starters, you can call your local authorities and ask them how you can get PCP. 
I'm Byron Kingsley from the Citizens Respecting the Authority of Police. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want right here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm as we launch here into the third hour of the program. Still to come here tonight, a man released from prison after 24 and a half years. We will give you his story here in a moment. Uh, Toll free number again, 855-450-FREE. We go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Jim is listening in Athol, Massachusetts to freetalklive.com. Hey, Jim. Hey, it's uh, it's Jim from Athol, Massachusetts. Uh, Ian, I've actually met you a few times. Oh, hey, Tim. What's on Uh, your mind tonight? Hey, uh, I want to talk about um, the income tax. I've actually, uh, I've owned businesses for like the uh, last 25 years or so, and Mm -hmm. uh, I gave up on filing about 10 years ago. Excellent. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I think that's the key, because they they really haven't uh, bothered me at all um, um, in the last 10 years, except when I took a temporary 1099 position when that 1099 was reported. Mm -hmm. And I... I think the key is probably to uh, to not interact with them at all, as opposed to uh, trying to do like a lock and rose type of, uh, um, you know, uh, show me the law and all that type of stuff. It only encourages them by by ignoring them. They they, they seem to have not bothered me all that much. So what what was it that they sent you when you would you know had to do the 1099 thing? Uh, what was their did they threaten you? What was their their correspondence? Well, it's interesting. I, you know, it was about two years ago. Uh, I did a 1099 position for uh, I don't know about thirty thousand dollars, and uh, they actually they they never sent it to uh, any information to the address that I actually live at now. But they sent it to an address that I lived at oh I don't know eight nine years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's clear that their information is not up to date, and they they, they kind of just go on automatic pilot. These I, I don't think. Too many people who work for the IRS are all that bright. <laughs> uh, I mean, ten minutes of uh, looking up, you could see where I live, and even the, the address on the 1099 was my correct address. But they sent, you know, demanding, you know, they're going to file the uh, the what I owe them on their own, or I don't know, some nonsense. I never even saw the paperwork. I I don't interact with them at all. So anymore. they sent whatever they sent to you. You ignored it, and that was the last you heard from them. Yeah, yeah, I haven't heard from them. I uh, haven't heard from them in, uh, I guess, uh, close to a decade now. I mean, it's going to be coming to a decade. And I've had, uh, you know, dozens and dozens of 1099 type of employees, but I've never, uh, you know, I don't file 1099s on anybody that works for me, and I pay them in cash. Great. So there's no record of them. We need more business cash. owners like you, Tim. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, it's risky because when when they come down on you, they're going to come down on you with a ton of bricks. Well, but, the thing uh, is, yeah, I suspect they're listening. Just they so could, you know, they could come down on you any time for any reason. The federal government, the local, the state government, if they decide they want to come after Tim for some reason, they'll come after you and they'll get you. I mean, because they can they can oh, spend resource absolutely. after resource, and there's there's no shortage for them. They can hire. A they lawyer go after, after lawyer. people for um. They they go after people all the time for their filed tax returns. That's right. Uh, yeah. They go after more people for filing tax returns every year than they go after people for not filing tax returns. That's that's definitely a good oh, point. That's, that's exactly that's exactly what I conclude. I, I concluded, you know, uh, after working like 15 years in the system and and actually having them show up on my front doorstep when I was cooking hot dogs, you know, 20 20 years ago, demanding, you know, $10,000 or whatever whatever the fee was years ago. Uh, Once I disconnected from the system and just stopped engaging and stopped uh, filling out their forms and and all that stuff, it, it, it seemed to go to like the bottom uh, of their priority list. It's the people who engage that are the ones that get in all the trouble. Let me ask you this. One, Why do you choose to do ahead. it? Why is it that you choose not to file? It feels personally uh, invasive. 
um, and appalling to me. Of uh, it's none of your business how I make my money. Um, it's none of your business who I, I hire. It's none of your business. Uh, it's none of your business. Period. I, I'm big on privacy, so I, I don't want to tell you all these intimate details about my life, about what I donated to, and mm. uh, I, or any of it. I really just don't want to be. I, you know what I want to do? I want to be left alone. I want to be able to make money and and hire somebody and and pay them cash, um, let them go spend that money on their family. I, all right, why should you be obligated to these strangers? I mean, essentially, you've got a group of strangers who sends out invoices to people. They send out demands and threats, and they say, you owe us, we've determined you owe us money. Here's a bunch of rules that we demand that you follow to try to figure out how much you owe. And then if you get it wrong, we'll go ahead and demand you owe us more, or we'll put you in a prison cell. I mean, who are these people? Oh, and, and it would be different if it was like two or three rules. Uh, but yeah, I mean, who could ever in their entire life understand all their rules? They don't understand I mean, them. I, There's been studies where people have called their IRS tax helpline, which is supposed to be, you know, to answer questions and help people out. Uh, and they've asked the like the most basic questions about income taxes that tend to I think they they actually pulled questions from like a, an IRS publication you know they actually asked FAQs yeah the IRS own questions Frequently of their own questions. agents and the agents got them wrong a significant amount of time. Hey, thanks Tim yeah, for your call tonight, man. I appreciate your uh, your courage in not paying those uh, those gangsters. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Yep, eight fifty five four fifty free. That's the toll free number. Yep, I I gotta say that uh, I think the income tax is a uh, well, what bothers me about it is is that I think it's the thirteenth or fourteenth amendment. I'm not sh- I'm not sure exactly right now, but it says that there's no involuntary servitude, meaning that n- one cannot obligate you to do work. And my wife spends forty to fifty hours a year. That's a week's worth of labor for wow. free, filling out. IRS tax forms. Now, I have recently uh, decided I've just had it. I cannot do it um, with the with the number. Is actually it was the number of children killed in Afghanistan or mm. Afghanistan and Pakistan by uh, unmanned drones. That was enough for me. Well, as a minister in the Shire Free Church, I mean, I don't think you should be paying taxes at all. Well, I, as a minister in the Shire Free Church, I don't have to. Yeah. Um, the the Shire Free Church takes care of the living expenses I have. So if my income's below ten thousand, I don't have to pay taxes. As I understand, I don't have to file taxes as I understand it. Now, I'm not looking to get their their government welfare that comes in the form of the uh, earned income tax credit or the head of household or whatever that is, so yeah. I'm not going to file at all. I don't want any money from these people uh, because that's what half the time it was happening for me. Half the time they were giving me more money than I gave, than I had paid in. So I, I don't want their welfare. I don't want any of that stuff. Risk I, is involved, though. There I'm, is risk involved. I haven't been paying for about 10 years, and I got the first letters uh, that I've ever received in the last decade from the IRS recently. They sent them to four different addresses, all at the same mailbox store. They sent them to um, my my name, my, uh, my given name, and they were all in Spanish. <laughs> Your given name is like French, right? Yeah. So I don't know really not what even, to think about that. It's it's not even a funny kind of French. It's Bernard. After I mean, typing it in the typing in their letter to uh, Google Translate, I was able to determine that <laughs> they wanted me to assist them in updating their files on me. So I promptly ignored those letters. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. So clearly they don't. They're, whatever info they have on me isn't that great if they're sending me letters right. in Spanish. As far as I'm concerned, a letter from the IRS um, asking me to update their files on me is a is is slightly more welcome than a letter from the KGB asking me to mm-hmm. help them update their file on me. It may be an indicator that I'm under investigation, so you know what happens next remains to be seen. I'll certainly let you know uh, if that situation developments uh, develops. Hopefully, it will not. I'd prefer to not have to deal with that. I've got enough court uh, on my plate. I've still got the Robin Hood case that's going to Supreme Court here in New Hampshire. And now the New Hampshire State Police bringing two misdemeanor charges against me for basically filing driver's license paperwork in an incorrect order. I mean, it was just, it's a ridiculous aggression. And it seems very, very political. And if you want to learn more about that, you can go to freekeen.com. Now, we're going to get into the story when we get a chance here. Uh, Of course, your calls are welcome at 855-453, but we're going to talk about Jonathan Fleming. He was uh, convicted of killing somebody. 
and now set free after more than 24 years behind bars. We'll tell you why coming up here in moments on Free Talk Live's live Saturday edition. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Many thought that a politician with a publicly inebriated lifestyle would be unelectable. But Dave Tillis has proved them wrong, winning over voters by loudly rambling on about issues they care about. Everybody's got to know the drugs are Americans, and we love America! Yeah. And we love America. Oh, my God, let's do this! Tillis' total fearlessness and lack of inhibition seemed to speak to voters. This week, those supporters had something to celebrate as Senator Tillis proposed his first piece of legislation, the All Bus Stops Should Have Shelters Bill. But does that mean you deserve to wake up in the snow? Hell no. Let's make a shelter on all bus stops. Ow! Oh, this idea is genius! This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. We'll take your calls about whatever you want. Also, still to come, the story about the man released from prison after 24-plus years. We'll give you that story, and you can call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Mark, BuzzBox Coffee, they're really giving away a pound 
of coffee That's to right. anyone who wants it. Yeah. You can go to buzz. You can go to coffee.freetalklive.com. We've made it easy for you. That's coffee.freetalklive.com and get a free pound of coffee. Um, what BuzzBox is, is high-end coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% um, uh, organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. So great-tasting coffee. I drink it every day. I love it. You but, really have to believe in your product to be willing to give away a pound of it. Yeah, they're, they're really confident. But really what's unique about BuzzBox, because you can get high-end coffee in lots of places, um, but what's unique about BuzzBox is, is that the program that they, that they have as far as sort of taking care of their employees and taking care of people around the world. The fact is um, that by buying in with uh, with BuzzBox, there's a subscription there. You sign up for the subscription. You can cancel at any time, but you will get a free pound of coffee. Um, you, If we can get a 1,000 listeners who drink coffee to sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give out 100 microloans. Now, we've had dozens and dozens of people sign up there, and I'd like to have dozens and dozens more. I want hundreds more. I want 1,000 listeners. Um, we can give away 100 microloans to help people in foreign countries. This doesn't have a political agenda. You can like or dislike Free Talk Live's political agenda, whatever the reason. But if you go to coffee.freetalklive.com and you get your free pound of coffee, you can help somebody in a, in a foreign country get a hand, uh, hand up instead of a handout. And if you're not signing up for whatever reason because you don't exactly agree with everything that we say on the air here, you should rethink that because it doesn't have anything to do with what we say on the air. It's just us wanting to help people live a better life, provide for their families. In places where governments and and uh, militias and and foreign corporations are constantly getting in the way, coffee.freetalklive.com to help. Back to the phones with your calls and thoughts, Joe in Grand Rapids, listening to WTKG. Hey, Joe, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I've been a uh, big supporter of the uh, flat tax or fair tax, whatever you want to call it, for years, but I don't think it'll ever happen. I, I kind of seems like more and more every year we get more people, more government programs, more people dependent on the government. Mm -hmm. And um, basically our politicians that we got, I mean, every generation says that, oh, they're terrible in this, but I mean, we got a bunch of parasites up in Washington right now, and they use our money to win elections. They use our money to pay off different groups, constituency groups, and, you know, this, we got to win this area, so we'll give them free phones, or we do this and do that. And... <clears throat> And I guess unless the people actually really get upset, but it's going to be hard when you got almost 50 percent of the population getting something. Well, I, yeah, I don't know um, when you consider government workers and anybody who's on a government program um, and anybody who's in a family of those people, mm -hmm. then you're talking about a pretty large percentage of the population. But the other thing you've got to consider is um, – there's about let's see I I did this uh, I broke break, broke this down into, for 2009. Um, in 2009, there were 144 million tax returns filed. There were about 310 million people in the United States in the 2010 census. I assume mm -hmm. they were here in 2009. So, yeah. uh, you know, 310 million people. 144 million tax returns. Now, I don't know how many of those were the dual tax returns, where it's husband and wife. But even if you round that up to 200, you've got Two-thirds of the people filing, one-third of them not. Um, then you take half of those people that are filing, half, 49%. And that's half where I come from. 49% of them weren't, did not pay in, and that was before the big economic downturn, the huge um, you know, economic yeah. downturn that, that this, this country faced. So half of them weren't paying in at that time. The other half, um, you consider how many. So, so now we're at uh, two-sixths, two one-third of the population actually pays income tax at all. The others are getting uh, this earned income tax credit ahead of household. They're getting money back. The income tax filing is welfare for those people, um, whether they like to call it or not. It's Republican welfare to get them to comply with uh, filing tax returns. So one third of the population is supporting two thirds, from what I can tell. That is a I, system that cannot stand. Yeah, I personally, you know, I mean, this may sound terrible, but you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a problem with, you know, the constitutional amendment. You got to pay taxes to vote. I mean, I, I hate to say that, but, you know, I'm sorry, man. If you don't have any skin in the game, then you go down to the you know low local election to raise my property taxes. Yeah, it's easy for you to pull a lever when you're, you know, your business, your house or, you know, whatever. And they always say, well, it's just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit adds up over years, you know. 
And, yeah, uh, a lot of people feel a lot of people feel this way. But I, everybody pays taxes. I mean, even if you don't own property, you're still paying taxes through for, by virtue of the fact you're buying things and businesses. Oh well, yeah, that's why I say a fair tax or a flat tax, some type of consumption tax, and get rid of all these stupid property taxes and income taxes and corporate taxes. That way, well, everybody's got something. I get so where you're coming from with the with, property tax ain't going anywhere. Um, yeah. The I, fact is, the property tax funds local municipalities and s- mostly schools. So you, even if they do yeah. get the the, I don't know which one you're talking about here. The fair tax is the one where they're talking about basically a VAT, a value added tax. Yeah. Um, it, when if that would no, only they're not the fair tax is uh, is a sales tax. That's what a VAT is basically. Well, no, VAT's at every level of production. Okay, yeah, that's that completely different like, from the sales tax. Yeah, every level of production. But uh, I mean, it's got. There's got to be something better than what we got. I mean, well, for, no, first states, of all, I get where you're coming from. Like, okay, it'd be nice to simplify the system. You know, the old po- the old idea of you should be able to pay it on a postcard. You know, fifteen percent or the whatever. Flat tax. Um, so, you know, I get the idea of that being attractive to people, but I still, I would not want to support these people because they're criminals who hurt people who are peaceful, the, you know, they, they hurt peaceful people, they murder innocent people around the world, and I don't care if they're going to simplify the tax process. It's what they do with the money that I have a problem with. It's the way they extract uh, money from people by the threat of violence and actual violence and caging people. I can't support that no matter how oh, yeah, no simple it is. Too, man. <laughs> Joe, thanks for your call tonight. I well, appreciate your thoughts. Yep. The, the reason this is a pipe dream, and I I have my the sympathies towards it. Either any of them. Yeah. Um, okay. The the flat tax might be diff- less less of a pipe dream than the fair tax. The fair tax is a pipe dream because, first off, that's the crazy one where they're going to give a rebate uh, to or, or prebate or whatever they call it. Just basically give out a welfare check to every household in America. Right. The the reason this isn't going to happen is is because a um you know, the, po- basically politicians. Get payoffs for doing what they do. The you know big corporations and that kind of thing. They want tax breaks and stuff like that. You can't do that with this uh, flat tax. There's you're mm. not going to get most of the people to say yeah fair tax. Consider that currently two thirds. I just did the math for you. Two thirds of the population doesn't pay an income tax at all. So you're asking a two thirds of the population to bear some of the tax burden. Mm. That they would not, they they do not otherwise bear. This is no, thank you very much. They're not going to do that. So, um, the, it's it's a pipe dream to get basically, yeah. uh, you know, well, the, sort of the fair-minded conservative types on board, and it's not going to happen. I'm not saying other people aren't fair-minded. I'm just saying that I can understand why those people feel this is fair, but it's. It's a mess. It's just not going to happen. Let's come back with more. Your calls and thoughts welcome. Coming up, the man freed after being in prison for over 24 years of his life. We'll give you his story and take your calls and thoughts about whatever's on your mind. Here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. More coming up at 855-450-FREE. Our toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-FREE. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, bring up what you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Enjoy all the features that we share with you there for free. FreeRoss.org, a website that is very important if you believe in ending the insane war on drugs. If you want to stand up, help a man stand up for himself against a federal onslaught, Luckily, the Bundy family managed to defeat the feds, as we reported in the first hour with our interview with Ryan Bundy, the son of Clyburn Bundy, one of the ranchers that are having this range war with the Bureau of Land Management. They defeated the feds because they had people come onto their side and help them physically in reality. Well, you can't do that with Ross Ulbricht. He's currently sitting in a prison cell, so I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to show up there physically and do much of anything to help him. But what you can do by gathering together with others, is to help fund his defense. He's been accused of the man, as, as accused of being the man who's uh, the man behind the Silk Road. The Silk Road is an infamous website. It's available on the so-called dark net. Uh, you have to use the Onion Router software in order to be able to access it. Uh, it's back, by the way. The feds took it down. There's now Silk Road 2.0. So breaking the, you know, taking down the website and arresting the alleged operator did not stop the Silk Road. There's they're still continuing to have this open black market where anything, almost anything, can be sold. So it hasn't stopped them. And the, the the allegation is that Ross isn't actually the man behind Silk Road. Of course, the feds are claiming he is. But whether he is or he isn't, he deserves the support of people who love freedom because he is a freedom lover. He is, a uh, you know I believe, a self-proclaimed libertarian, maybe a voluntarist. He's a guy who loves freedom. He's spoken out for freedom either as Dread Pirate Roberts, if he actually is Dread Pirate Roberts, or just as himself. Uh, Ross Ulbricht. He needs help, though. He can't access his Bitcoins in prison because the feds have taken them, so not even his family can access his Bitcoins. So basically, he has nothing. His family is not rich. They could use your help. Go to freeross.org to learn more and to find out how to contribute with PayPal, Bitcoin, or cut him a check. freeross.org, and we'll continue to update you as we learn more about his case. Joe's on the line in Panama City Beach in Florida, listening to WYOO. Hey, Joe. Hey, 
How's it going? Great. What's on your mind tonight? I enjoy your show. Welcome, sir. Yes. I uh, just wanted to uh, chime in a bit on uh, the IRS and other matters. You're right here. You're on the air. Now's the time. Well, hey, great. Uh, you know, uh, we are sovereign. We're not placed on this planet as worker bees or ants in a farm. Okay? Yep. So That's what the politicians treat us like is tax cattle, tax livestock. Exactly. But I own me. Mm-hmm. I am absolutely sovereign. No person on the earth has authority over me other than me. I like how you're calling yourself sovereign and not a sovereign Sovereign, citizen. Sovereign, that's right. Absolutely sovereign. Just as when, excuse me, when the uh, when the uh, Revolutionary Army took control of the uh, several colonies from the British, the, the sovereignty of the king did not flow to the United States government. It flowed to each individual uh, in the several colonies. Uh, we are as sovereign as kings, each and every one of us. Well, that's the definition of a sovereign, right? You are the king of your own domain, essentially. You're the king of your own life. Absolutely. I own me. I am a nation unto myself. I love that I idea. Enter into, I enter into agreements with others. Uh but that's between us. It's personal. It's private. As far as the government on any level, uh, you know, it's none of your business who I am. It's none of your business where I live. It's I love your what you're saying, right. and I totally support it. What is? I mean, how long have you considered yourself <laughs> sovereign, and has the IRS come after you at all? Yeah, no, no, the IRS has not come after me. And and honestly, I mean, I am 50 years old, and and this is something that's come in the last few years of my life, and it's just because of life experience and what you're taught when you're young, and then as you grow older and you realize it's not exactly what you've been told. I've been lied and, to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, yes. Wow. Really? So, you know, society is the lie. It's false. It's fake. Uh, you know, to me, any, anything larger than a tribe is contrived. Here's what and, I think. You, know, you sound like the perfect person to, who would really appreciate the Shire Society Declaration. Have you ever heard of it? I have not. It's a personal declaration of independence. And it basically declares your independence from the state as a sovereign individual. So what I'd recommend is that uh, you check it out. You might really enjoy it. Go to ShireSociety.com, and you can find the Shire Society Declaration there. We actually had it written up on uh, you know hemp paper, and we had a bunch of people sign it at the uh, the Porcupine Freedom Festival back in 2010. And ever since, it's been online as in a digital form. You can actually see high-resolution photos of the originals that were signed, and you can download the uh, declaration for yourself and, and sign it for yourself if you like what you if you like what you read. And then one of the other things things about the Shire Society is they also encourage people to come to the Shire, uh, that people that think the way that we do, that believe in these ideas of sovereignty and freedom and liberty and you know respecting others' rights to be their own sovereign individuals and make their own decisions for their lives, bringing people like that all to the same geographic area so we'll have strength in numbers and we can be peaceful and free uh, together. That's, uh, that's what I think is really exciting. And of course, the Free State Project is helping bring those people together as well at freestateproject.org. So, couple interesting links for you there. Anybody that, that appreciates the idea of, uh, of sovereignty should really check out ShireSociety.com and FreeStateProject.org. Joe, uh, thanks for your th- uh, call and thoughts tonight. Let's go to Mickey in Huntsville, Alabama, listening to WBHP. Hello, Mickey. Hi there. Yeah, I, I just tuned in and everything, and then I heard uh, you say something about the rancher in Nevada out there. Things are looking pretty good for him now, right? Yeah, we actually yeah. had the son of Clive and Bundy, uh, Ryan, on the show with us tonight, and he was on horseback out on the range bringing back their hundreds of head of cattle that the BLM had confiscated from the family. So it's been a real success. But, of course, as he pointed out, 
this is just probably a, a win of a battle rather than uh, than the full war. Odds are good, you know. If I know if I know my governments, odds are good they're going to bide their time and wait for everybody to pack up and go home. Wait for the media to go home before they make another move. Well, I just wanted to say that uh, for my part, anyway, I've been busy calling senators, Congress people, the speaker's office. I called the governor of the state of Utah. I called the governor of the state of Nevada. I've lived in the West before. And I did everything I could, and I told them, I said, you guys ought to arrest those feds out there. After all, they violated their oath. That makes them traitors. They're uh, terrorists. They're cattle wrestlers. And believe it or not, they're still hanging on the fence on the books. Believe it or not, even, even after all these times. And I said, that's what you should do, bring in the National Guard, a couple of thousand National Guard. And I don't think you guys want to shoot it up with those people, man. So bring them in and arrest them and take that stupid judge that wrote that uh, court order thing, need to arrest him, too. Mickey, now, thanks I mean, for your call I'm tonight. I appreciate him. hearing from you. 855-450-FREE. You can take control of the airwaves. Well, the government sort of operates as a team, and they tend not to turn on themselves too often. It is often. fun when they do, though. Yeah, it's rare, but it happens. And anytime they're expending t- uh, their efforts on their own people or different levels or different bureaucracies, I'd rather have them doing that than picking on innocent, peaceful people. Yeah, I'd I'd rather see that, too. So uh, we'll come back with more here. The story about the man, I swear, if, you know, of course, your calls come first if you make them at 855. Yeah, that's what Free Talk Live's about. But I do really want to talk about this guy, uh, Jonathan Fleming. He's now 51 years old. And he went to uh, to jail about the same time you did. Mark went to prison. Yeah. Uh, So we'll come back with his story and your calls and thoughts. Welcome about what you want here. In the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, which are coming up shortly, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and that's brought to you by Pro XPN, 855-450-3733. Also, Skype on into the show. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request, and you'll be all set. This is Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Contact me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. M-B-R-O-W-E-R at GCNlive.com. That's mbrower at GCNlive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and weed. 
The Road to Freedom, a film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Just enough time for your call if you dial now, 855-450-FREE. That'll get you in here in this live Saturday edition. Maybe you don't get it in uh, tonight. You need, maybe you're driving or something. You just can't uh, get to the phone quick enough. It's okay. We've got a Sunday edition of the show hosted by Mark and Stephanie and Brian, but they are out this weekend. That's right. Aren't they at the Toronto Bitcoin Conference? Yes. Very that, exciting. It's, yeah, it's got to be a lot, of, a lot of fun. So uh, Daryl will be in, in with me, but it's not just Sunday. It's seven nights a week that we do Free Talk Live. From 7p to 10p Eastern Time, you can call in live at 855-450-FREE. Even if you're listening later on your radio station locally, call in during our live hours and you can hear yourself later on. Or grab us on Archive or our live streams at freetalklive.com. And a great way to support Free Talk Live is to become a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. It's five bucks a month. That's what what it costs you. But right now and for the next several months... We've got some generous listeners who are offering to double your amp dollars. So if you've been waiting for an opportunity to amp the show or you've just been putting it off, you've been saying you're going to do it, you just haven't gotten around to it, please go ahead and do it now uh, at amp.freetalklive.com because we're going to double the, our, our supporters will double the money. So five bucks a month, going to double to 10, 20, 25 bucks a month, will double, double to 50. There's different levels. So you can go to amp.freetalklive.com. The money is being used for a variety of things to help us get on more radio stations and also our recent kind of push has been for Google AdWords, where we're wanting to reach out to people that are just Googling for talk radio or similar kinds of keywords like that, just looking for something to listen to on on the internet. We want them to find Free Talk Live, and that's what Google AdWords can help us do. We're already spending about 10 bucks a day on Google AdWords, and we can do more with it uh, with your help. So please, your money's going to really help Free Talk Live get into more ears through the radio waves and online, and it'll be doubled. Go to amp.freetalklive.com to get signed up and get the perks. You get access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only podcast, and more. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. Bobby's listening in Panama City to WYOO on the FM band. Hey, Bobby. Hey, how you doing? Great. What's on your mind tonight? I just wondered if... uh... I haven't heard a lot of people discuss this or even talk about it, but I'm calling about that county commissioner there in Nevada that uh, basically threatened everybody that came up there's lives. Yeah, and told told them that you know they better have funeral plans or whatever. You right. know, is, yeah, we talked about that last night. It. He went on to clarify his uh, statements and that he was just trying to discourage people who were armed from coming. He uh, that was his intention with that statement. And it may have come off uh, sounding pretty harsh, but the, his follow-up well, it, statement it sounds to me like when they say something like uh, "you better have funeral plans," that's uh, pretty much what he meant. I don't doubt that that's what he meant. I'm just saying his follow-up clarification statement made it more clear as to what his intentions were, or at least what he wanted you to believe his intentions were after he made the statement. And there's a big yeah, blow-up, right? He was he was talking about Utahns who were coming up with with weapons is supposedly what he was saying. 
Oh, okay. In which case, well, that I could be a comment on the, the the violent nature of the federal government. It, right. It, it, well, one thing's for sure. If you intend to, st- to make a small a stand of a, a few hundred uh, people with small arms against the federal government, you better have funeral plans. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I understand that, but I, I just don't even think he had the right to even make that comment. He's a county commissioner. It sounds threatening, doesn't it? I mean, it's it's like, yes. you know, it, it doesn't seem like, like it. it's not what I'd like to hear coming from the guy who's uh, the county commissioner in my county. Um, I think that there's uh, some obviousness to the statement, but it sounds very harsh towards people that he's supposed to be representing. Right, and and he's also talking about people that are coming nationwide up there in in this guy's defense, and I don't uh, I, I see where that's a problem. I think as Americans, we should be able to go anywhere we want to go. Absolutely. Bobby, and, thanks for your call and, tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you on Free Talk Live at 855 450 free. CNN reporting on uh, this man, 51 years old, Jonathan Fleming, set free. After having been in prison since 1989, New York judge Tuesday vacated the conviction of a man who spent nearly a quarter of a century behind bars for a Brooklyn slaying that occurred while he was on vacation in Florida. He had in his pocket a receipt for uh, hotel uh, hotel room telephone calls. Mm. It, and somehow or another that uh, receipt made it into the file, but well, hmm, we're not even going to mention that. He was found guilty in 1989 in the death of Daryl Rush in the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn and served the next 24 years and eight months in prison. According to the Kings County District Attorney's Office, he was released Tuesday afternoon. Fleming has always maintained he was on a family trip to Disney World in Florida when Rush was shot to death early on the morning of August 15, 1989 in a dispute over stolen money. After years of reviewing documents and re-interviewing witnesses as part of a joint investigation between his attorneys and the Brooklyn District Attorney's Conviction Review Unit, it was determined that the only evidence tying him to the crime was an alleged witness who later recanted her statement. As you can imagine, after sitting in jail for 25 years for a crime he didn't commit, he can't help but feel vindicated, said one of his lawyers, Anthony Maiol. On the flip side, that's 25 years that have been stolen that he'll never get back. At his trial, defense attorneys provided family photos and home videos of Fleming in Florida around the time of Rush's killing. But according to Taylor Koss, one of his lawyers... They did not have the evidence that he was in Florida on the day of the slaying. The prosecution persuaded jurors to ignore the alibi. Fleming told his attorneys that he'd paid a bill for phone calls made from his Florida hotel room the night before Rush was killed. And he's believed and he believed the receipt was in his pocket when the police arrested him. But authorities told the defense that he had no such receipt, according to Koss. I saw that. I saw a picture of the receipt um, on the news. So I'm reasonably certain somebody just lied. What do you know? Cops or the prosecutor lied in this case. You know, this is the, the thing is, is when somebody does 25 years in prison based on a bureaucrat's lie, mm-hmm. that person person should go to prison they for should. that per- period of time but they and, won't and you know what i don't care if they're dead dig up their body put it up <laughs> on the put it on the front porch of this uh, the, the front steps of this courtroom for the next 25 years so the prosecutors and the law enforcement officers and the people that mm. throw people in jail have to go by and see what it's like when somebody gets thrown in jail uh, innocently, this is not acceptable. It, it, it you know, it shows the it, it shows the inherent flaws in the judicial system, and people in the co- this country and people in the government, they just seem to think that because you got accused of something, you've done it, and that's ridiculous. It's outrageous. In the course of the investigation, the conviction review unit found the receipt in police records, time stamped and dated. Amazingly, it was still in there. They didn't throw it away solidifying Fleming's claim that he was in Florida at the time of the killing, according to the district attorney's office. This is proof of an alibi that was basically purposely withheld, said the attorney. So now what are we going to get? What's the justice going to look like? The taxpayers of the state of New York or the city of Brooklyn or whatever are going to have to pony up millions of dollars to make up for this guy being in prison. And I can totally understand why he and his family are going to sue. They have every right to sue. But it's not going to make, it's not justice. The people who did this, the criminals under the color of law who did this won't do, nothing's going to happen to them. They're probably retired. The people listening to my voice right now are going to continue to support the government 
government, as much as they support the government, they're not going to say to themselves, oh, finally, I've seen a piece of evidence that innocent people go to prison. They don't care. It's like yeah. it, we need this certain amount of grist for the mill. We need a certain amount of innocent people to go to prison simply because, oh, well, we know the system's flawed, but we've got to have it. We don't need corrupt politicians. These people need punishment, and they're not going to get it. If they don't, if you don't punish them, punish their bodies. Put put them on display. I don't care. There needs to be real justice in this. It goes on all the time in this country. We see stories all the time like this, and nobody pays for that. These prosecutors need to go to prison. These cops need to go to prison for this. Police and prosecutors around this country need to see that somebody will do something because they won't. You should run for county attorney, Mark. I su- I support that. Ridiculous. And you know I won't get anywhere. <laughs> you know that the system's arrayed against this. No cops, no prosecutors want cops and prosecutors to go to prison for doing yep. something bad. Because That's what I'm saying. Run the, for county prosecutor. Whatever their intention was initially when they got in, whatever truth and justice they believed in got lost along the way. So now they care about the, their team. Not only that, they, they interviewed his former girlfriend and she had a good alibi. They found her story to be credible. But also, what about that witness? Why did she recant? Okay, so here's a the story there. State According the woman, the witness, recanted her testimony. She had originally said she'd seen Fleming committing the crime. She later testified. Now, she recanted just weeks after his conviction. So they should have let him out a long time ago. But, but no. they don't do that. She, uh, she later testified that she was on parole and had been arrested with another woman for being in a stolen van the night of the killing. She said police persuaded her to give a statement against Fleming, someone who she had not seen commit this crime to avoid going back to jail. Look, lady, we'll let you out of here tonight, but you have to promise to testify against this guy because, I don't know, he's black? I mean, what? this is crazy. Yeah, this is why um, this, this is why plea bargains are in themselves inherently immoral. We're out of time for tonight. If you didn't get in tonight, call tomorrow at the beginning of the show, 7 to 10 o'clock at night Eastern Time. Join us online in the meantime at freetalklive.com and have a great weekend. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, April 11th, 2014. 
Radio VR News. Ten people are dead and dozens injured Thursday in a fiery collision in Northern California between a truck and a tour bus carrying high school students en route to tour Humboldt College. California Highway Patrol spokeswoman Officer Tracy Hoover says a FedEx truck traveling south on Interstate 5 crossed over into oncoming traffic and crashed into the tour bus and a car. We have, I believe, 46 people that were on the bus. Um, we have nine confirmed fatalities at this point. Um, I, I can't tell you who who fatalities are. According to the California Highway Patrol, the fatalities include the driver of the truck and the tour bus driver. A man accused in connection with a deadly crash at a Florida daycare center has surrendered to authorities. Correspondent Tony Winton has more. The Orange County Corrections Department says 28-year-old Robert Alex Corchado turned himself in. He is currently being held at the Orange County Jail on a charge of leaving the scene of a deadly accident. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. Authorities say Corchado crashed into another vehicle, which in turn careened into the daycare center on Wednesday, killing a four-year-old girl and injuring 14 others. Many are still hospitalized. Tony Winton, Orlando. Now, several students remain in critical condition. The 16-year-old charge in the high school stabbing attack near Pittsburgh several days ago gave no hint of violence. That's according to his lawyer. Correspondent Warren Levinson has the latest. Nobody saw this coming, says defense attorney Patrick Tomasi, who is seeking a psychiatric evaluation for Alex Rival. The 16-year-old was charged as an adult in the stabbings at Murrayville Regional High School, but Tomasi says there's good reason to move the case to juvenile court. Whether he's amenable to treatment, uh, which I think is a, a foregone conclusion here. I mean, his, his family life, his psychiatric state, his psychological state. Tomasi says Reibel is a good student with friends and a good relationship with his family. If convicted as an adult, he could face decades in prison. I'm Warren Levinson. A big shakeup for the boss of Obamacare. The Secretary of Health and Human Services is resigning. Correspondent Ricardo Alonso Zaldivar reports the successor to Kathleen Sebelius at HHS will still have some heavy lifting to do on health care. The administration has to do a lot of work on improving customer service. It's turned out that buying health insurance is not a simple thing. It's not like going on Amazon, not like Travelocity. People need a lot of personal assistance to get through the process. Another practical issue is what's going to happen to premiums next year. Former President George Bush dodged a thrown shoe in Iraq. Now a woman is under arrest in Las Vegas. Accused of throwing an object at former Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton was on stage giving a speech. Ed Donahue explains. Clinton was the keynote speaker at the Institute of Scrap Recycling Industries convention. She had just started speaking. Cycling about two... <laughs> Is that a bat? It was a shoe. Hillary Rodham Clinton ducked and was not hit. My goodness, I didn't know solid waste management was so controversial. A person in the audience says a woman walked down the aisle near the front of the seating area, threw the shoe, turned around, and put her hands in the air and walked toward the back of the room. Security officers quickly caught up with her. I'm Ed Donahue. A stolen kiss by a married congressman might just result in him losing his job. A pair of top Louisiana Republicans say Congressman Vance McAllister should step down after getting caught getting cozy with a staffer. Correspondent Jerry Bodlander has the details. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal says Vance McAllister, who was videotaped kissing a married woman who isn't his wife, should resign so he has the time needed to put his family back together. Jindal's comment came shortly after the state's Republican chairman also called on McAllister to step down. House Speaker John Boehner met with McAllister and said he's got some decisions to make. A statement from McAllister's office said that as of now, there are no plans of resignation. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. And that's the